Thank you. 
What's up? Hello everyone. It's we're here. I need to turn the fucking middies off. My beautiful, beautiful middies. Yeah. Welcome. It's another episode of oh, Big you're, Mystery. You're oh. FM, My FMV FMV YouTuber. YouTuber. I'm not even here. I always forget to do that. Oh no. Don't worry. It'll be here soon. You can in the interim you can enjoy this beautiful new chat that uh was has been created and uh you can also enjoy a couple of chicago style hot dogs yeah fresh off the grill yeah, it's fresh, not a real grill fresh off the chicago grill chicago style grill Dre yeah. fresh off the sidewalks of chicago that's how they make them there because it gets so fresh hot grill. in chicago famously a hot place uh, a hot, dry environment. <laughs> yeah, you can just scrape them right off. It's right also off. well known for for being clean. That's why we use the sidewalk for the Chicago style hot dog. I say we. Yeah. I'm not in Chicago or from there. But yeah, you're from uh, you're from Mist Island, right? Uh, actually, I'm from the um. I'm from the, the rocket age. ship age. I was born in the maze, raised oh, in oh. it, molded <laughs> oh. by it. <laughs> I appreciate, Lexi, that you bothered to do like an actual DOS command with your with this new setup. Nope, that's not a DOS command. That's a Linux command. Of course, oh. it's not going to work. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I, you got to use a DOS command. Yeah, you got to use a DOS command. Uh, I know RM works in like modern Windows PowerShell, but I think it's like something longer, more letters. Also, it's spelled P S U E D O. Well, okay, so... What? <laughs> what? Pseudo. That's how pseudo is spelt. It's you with a newspaper. Why would you do this when they're so, so sick already? They don't need your, they don't need your newspaper. Um, yeah, if you if you can't tell from the sound in my voice, um, I, I might have sounded pretty hoarse the last couple streams. Turns out I was slowly coming down with a pretty intense head cold. What? What? This, I thought this was a burnt book. Excuse me? It is a burnt book. It's very important. This is so me! And you're Don't gonna have forget to about this all. book. Oh, oh. This is like the constellations, except you have to put all of them in the correct order. Oh. Yeah, there's like a there's a pattern governing them, and you're gonna have to figure out. So, but but don't worry about that. We're not here to do math. Yeah, that's we're not. not that's we're not, not here to solve puzzles God, or how anything. How many of these are there? Three hundred. Why? <laughs> Why do you need this many? You have to have you have to make sure that there is absolutely no chance anyone's kid can accidentally brute force their way into the answer to this puzzle. Like art did. All way back in the day. I I brute forced my way into the stone ship age, not the uh Whatever that is. Spoilers. Uh well no spoilers. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of these books so far are kinda boring. Not really yeah. super enjoyable. Uh, that's what it's we're mostly... doing. We're, it's the Book Mist Club because we're reading the books in this first talk. Are we going to click on every bird book? <laughs> I, I well, think I'm... Riley's going to do this just to make sure that she's not missing anything. Yes. I just need to make sure. There was already a puzzle. There was already a book that looked burnt that was a puzzle solution, Echo. You can't say we're going to click on every bird book like it's a surprise. Well, we can't well, wait. Are we gonna read that book? Books. Are we gonna read the numbers out loud? One, two. <laughs> God. Okay, this, this is the age, yesterday. the one age we haven't been to. This book? Yeah. It's channel what? 
it's okay to it's, read before you go to the age. I am H.O. Yeah. I honestly think it's probably, like, semi-intended for you to read about the age before going, because a lot of these books have, like, some Mist Island puzzle solutions in them. Okay. Uh, well, me and Echo are going to start reading. Trogo, you can not read because you're so, so sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am, uh recusing myself so do you want to read this one riley uh, or do you want to like alternate for each entry just alternate for every word <laughs> oh yeah let's not do that okay. we could do okay. alternate between I... each entry <laughs> okay you first you're the okay host. i have called this age channelwood and it is a very different world Though it is exactly how I imagined it, it is still amazing to see it with my own eyes. Orta covers this age as far as I can see, except for a small rocky island. Elsewhere, there are only trees which grow directly out of the water. A myriad of thin wooden passageways are built just above the water, disappear into the- Why did my computer make a windows noise again? Into the forest. I assume they were built some time ago, for they appear aged. I am eager to discover more about this land and its people, but I have arrived here late, and I must rest. Uh, I'm gonna hop in here just to commentate something. The way they describe Channelwood here really does just sound like the way that you describe like a room that you enter in a text adventure. Myriad <laughs> walkways, etc. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I was awakened this morning by strange noises coming from a pathway adjacent to the one in which I had slept. I saw a group of monkey-like people hit... Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, hey whoa. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Of beautiful-looking people headed in my direction. They had not seen me yet. I did not feel threatened by their presence. Their response to me was one that I would have never expected. After... Staring at me for a short time, they felt... Wow, my entry's long. They felt... <laughs> They fell to their knees and began what appeared to be some sort of ceremonial worship. I tried to speak to them, but they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below us were changing colors. Slowly, subtly, they would change from deep blue to muddy orange. Then from muddy orange to beautifully clear. I was so intrigued by the water that I hardly noticed that we had arrived at a ladder. Climbing the ladder led us to their village, which is about 10 meters above the water and can only be reached by rope ladders that stretch from the lower paths to the village level approximately halfway up the grand trees. It is very interesting watching these people carry out their daily tasks. Even after watching them for hours, I did not understand exactly what Sorry. Uh, also, hi, Boonos. It's the Book Mist Club. We're reading Mist books. Uh, they were dealing. Jesus fucking Christ, this is all on entry now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you really fucked yourself here. Echo. You really chose uh, poorly. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop in here for some more commentary, though. Okay. I feel yeah. like... I feel like the colonial overtones here are pretty fucking striking and also probably deliberate. It would seem, yeah. I would say I cannot imagine that not being deliberate. Like it this does just... just sound like the journal of a fucking like colonizer, a Christopher Columbus type, down to the monkey like okay. people. To be fair, I think... I think the the characterization of Atris is very like. He's the nice colonizer, you know? Yeah, he's the he's genteel. The nice... he's, yeah. he's the kind slave owner sort of guy. It's like, okay, fuck this dude. But he's, like, trying in his own fucked up way. Hmm. Yeah, he's like the... A Atris is the one writing this book, if you haven't figured it out. Yeah. And it's... Which, it's yeah. He is genteel. He is Enlightenment-era values, right? Yeah. I would say. Yeah. I mean, and he so built he's... mist. And so we sort of get like, we sort of get like three perspectives of the colonizer in these books. We get, um, we get Sirius and Sirius is greedy, and then Akinar is brutal, 
and then Atris is a gentleman. Uh, but they're all yeah. colonizers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I mostly wanted to make that follow-up clarification because you did compare him to Christopher Columbus, who is not the gentleman type of colonizer. Definitely, yeah. He is more of an Akinar. Yeah, think? he was more of an Akinar, if if you read his primary sources. Um <laughs> Okay. Echo taking a drink of water. Okay, that's a good um, idea. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying to read this with a sort of atris cadence. Yeah. Uh, with, like, needlessly <laughs> breathy, been... kind of weird inflection. It's been so long since I heard Atris's voice, because outside... Maybe I'll go back after this and see if you... See how good you were doing. Yeah. At sunset, they motioned for me to follow them. I followed the creatures to the doorway of an enormous hut. Strangely, once inside, I found that the hut appeared even larger than it had from the outside. It's, it's a, already a Norris. It's a TARDIS. Yeah. It's a TARDIS. Doctor but it's already Doctor big. Who. The walls were garnished with bright metals, and in the center of the hut sat the leader of these people. At least, he appeared to be their leader, for he sat a meter off the floor in a thick throne. Guards surrounded the strong creature who was dressed in many exotic, colorful fabrics. Next to the leader sat a very old human. At least to some extent, he appears human. His hair, which was only on his face and head, was completely gray, almost white, and hung very long around his frail body. His thin head hung limply by an almost grotesque neck that could not hold its head up to look at me. But what a surprise! This, is this creature, creature could speak my language. Uh, he keeps calling Jesus. them creatures. <laughs> He's calling them uh, creatures. This is a person. Like yeah. you speak your he language. Speak his fucking language. <laughs> This is just a dude. Like he's just old. Shortly thereafter, I was given a bed with some hand motions that looked to be telling me to go to sleep. I look forward to learning more. And then another really uh, short entry. (laughs) As I suspected, the ancient creature is a human, but he is old beyond his rank and seems almost insane. However, the tree dwellers almost revere him as a god. They are treating me now in the same fashion, which makes me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> it is almost impossible to understand this old man. His voice is feeble but wild. He has adopted much of the language of the tree dwellers. He himself told me he had not spoken our own tongue in ages. He attempted to explain to me the history of this place. The following is my best translation of what he has told me. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be another be full page. Long one, huh? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Um, I, okay, I do want to say, actually, as a commentary thing first, um, the, the, the phrase, the ancient creature is a human, is like, <laughs> you at said, least you he said. can admit that, he, at least he's calling a human a creature, I guess? But, I don't know. Let's see, but next to the no, leader sat, a, next to the leader sat a very old human, at least to some extent he appears human, and then he goes to calling it a creature and then real, is back to calling it a human. Why did he, what, did, what? I don't know. What are you I doing, Atreus? I don't know what Atreus is fucking doing. He's like telling on himself way too hard. Yeah. It takes a while to write with a fucking pen. Quill. Like, think about your words. <laughs> Um, Atreus would not Atreus would be dead in a second on Twitter Atreus cannot he, would he not fucking handle Twitter would. he would get cancelled so hard um, Atreus would uh, uh, be more blogger I think yeah yeah still get cancelled on Twitter though um, he just wouldn't see it many years ago The humans and tree dwellers lived together in this place, which was then a vast island. Mm -hmm. They interacted very little. The humans dwelt on the ground, and the tree dwellers lived high above the humans. Occasionally, the island was disturbed by mysterious rumblings, which happened randomly, some sort of tectonic or volcanic action, I suspect. Sometimes slight, sometimes heavy tremors would only last a short time. Then they would stop, 
allowing everything to return to normal. One day, things changed. The rumbling began and grew quickly to unprecedented levels. Soon it became apparent that the entire fucking book was going to be read by Echo, and the whole island was sinking slowly into the ocean around them. Many of the humans died that day, but not before sacrificing themselves in order to stop the sinking of the island. The humans who lived through this catastrophe moved into the trees, where they gradually died out, maybe because they were unequipped for such an environment, but I am not sure. This is the story the old man communicated to me, although many details are very unclear in my mind. I am especially confused as to how the humans saved the island from completely sinking. In fact, I doubt the accuracy of that part of the story. I thought it was ending. <laughs> <laughs> the island must have stopped on its own. Of course, you, these people have no fucking idea what they're talking about. You, <laughs> you can tag out. But also, I think it's very funny that you've been just cursed with the horrible. Yeah. Well, I I can read the next book in full. How about that? No, you don't. Have, you don't have to. I think it's. Why not? Here's here's a suboptimal solution. Why not alternate pages? Hmm. <laughs> and then you no. like stop mid sentence. Riley can read the right page because then Riley is on page two. <laughs> oh my god. If we yeah. both read each page at the same time, we'll go twice as fast. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's a brilliant you idea. Start an effort. In three. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, can't. I anyway. can't put our beautiful viewers through this. This. <laughs> that trauma. Okay. Um. You right. could only just... put our ugly viewers through that trauma. Shut up. We don't have any. Because all viewers are beautiful. The old man believes Dave. the truth of the story. Uh, as if he had been there. And the tree dwellers worship him. And apparently all humans. As if he, they were heroes or gods. This is, yeah. That's... <laughs> this... Look, Adrius is a fucking problematic colonialist. Uh, but he can't correct his fucking pronouns. <laughs> That's not even the singular they. That's a plural they. Yeah. You know what? Still good, job. If he can do it, so can you. Um, <laughs> the old man ended our conversation today with an event, which I will never forget. He began gripping my hands tightly, murmuring something about rest and asleep. He then said, we had expected you to come sooner. These actions filled me with a sort of immediate dread, with much effort. He stood to his feet. I tried to help, but he pushed me away with more force than, than I imagined his frail body contained. The tree dwellers quietly surrounded him with very solemn faces. They then kneeled before him. He walked to each and placed his hand on their heads. All the while, the mur he murmured words which I did not understand. Finally, he turned to me and smiled. Then he closed his eyes walked out the door and off of the narrow path behind Hi. In the trees. The tree dwellers were silent. Ooh. I was like burping right as that happened. Um, oh, that explains began... the extremely weird line readings. <laughs> the tree dwellers were silent. Yeah, I was like, hey, here we go. They began a procession down the nearest rope ladder. As I was descending, I saw several of them pick up the body. He had fallen onto a lower level of walkway and carry it away. He was laying down at the dead end of a short pier-like structure. With the use of some potion, one of the tree creatures lit the pier on fire, and I watched as the flames engulfed him. As this strange funeral proceeded, the waters around the pier changed to dull green. What? Why do you need to put funeral in square quotes? It's a funeral. Like it's literally how fucking funerals work. Yeah. It's literally they've... just a normal ass funeral ritual. Just because it's not your fucking cultural ritual. <laughs> like yeah, what does a fucking dunny do with their with their buried, huh? You uh, they just throw them in the porta potty and shove it off the cliff. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, they're already fucking underground. It's not like they have to bury them. <laughs> 
Okay. Sorry, spoilers about the dummy. Uh, um, also, I had accidentally set the stream to rerun. This is, in fact, live. I This is the problem with editing stream info, is that I always forget to do at least one thing. Uh, but this is live. Missed content. Anyway. This morning I awoke, finding it hard to believe the previous evening's events. The water is a dull green for as far as I can see now. For some reason, the water no longer shifts color. As I wander throughout the pathways, the creatures watch me, curious to see what I will do next. They are constantly offering me strange objects of affection. I even found food outside the doorway to the room in which I had slept. This is a... Unique race of beings. I hope to learn their language soon so that I may learn more from them. Blue. I have lived in this world for three months off and on, and the tree dwellers have shown great hospitality. I am even beginning to learn bits of their language. I have decided to return home for an extended stay with my loving wife and my sons, and hopefully return with them. However, I am sure Catherine will once again refuse. I think this age would be a wonderful experience for them all. I at least look forward to... How Cirrus and Akana will react to its curious inhabitants. Okay, pause for a moment. Yeah. It is extremely funny to me that Catherine does not want to go and fucking... Yeah. Is it ages <laughs> full of indigenous people? Considering... I don't know why Catherine doesn't want... Like, is that why? He's... Is it spoilers to describe who Catherine is? I don't know if it go if it happens in this game. I I think it is spoilers. Okay. Catherine does not come up in this game outside of uh, these books in the first letter and the message. Okay. So I Catherine like never... is like a big mystery question mark hanging over this. <laughs> uh, we're yeah. probably not Catherine because the opening narrator was masculine. And also just, like, you don't delete the message. Also, right, the, You also don't know what's going on. The thing of, is, the thing about that opening message seems like it wasn't us talking. Because it talked about throwing the book into the ravine and then... Oh yeah, as that soon was as I had thrown the book yeah. into the ravine, I knew I had made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, that was Atris. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that was, that was Atris? Okay. E then, yeah, we, were... we could be Catherine, but it's not clear at all uh, yeah. where Catherine is in all of this. She's very underexplained. I feel like there was how a mirror. Old do you, think, you know, how old do we think Sirius and Akinar are in this book? Probably just like kids. How give them ten? Like twenty? What? 10? Oh, in this book? Yeah. Yeah, in this book. Oh no. Um. I would say, like, middle schoolers, maybe. Yeah, that would... I'd believe that. Yeah, that would track. Um, also, I wanted to say, uh, this is why Biosis is a really good FMV game, is because it has an FMV mirror that you can look at your character through. Um, and it's like an yeah. FMV animation of the character looking at his face. And that's just great. That's really... If you put a mirror in an it... FMV game and you make it actually work, thank you so much. Beautiful. Love it. I think a Tex Murphy does that. That would make sense. Tex it's... Murphy is like almost entirely FMV, so. The thing about Mist is like I'm pretty sure Mist just like assumes that you assume that it like it's it's just you. Yeah, like it it's it doesn't put any description to the protagonist because the idea is that it's like an immersive experience I guess. Yeah, and, and yeah. as we know, it's it's willfully in the tradition of second person uh, text adventures like Zork, yeah. which are the things that originally brought us the what is it called? The ageless, faceless, genderless, nameless uh, uh, gender neutral player character. Yeah, Agna yeah. Yeah. What is that one? That's that's from that's also that's a fucking reference to in Sork Inquisitor. So oh, great yeah, Inquisitor. Because that's Half what the lamp cat. calls you. The Destiny 2 ghost lamp. Wait, when did 
shit. What, what is the exact acronym? I gotta look this up now. Yeah. It's yeah. Afghan Cap. Ageless, spaceless, gender neutral, culturally ambiguous adventure person. Um, I'm going to yeah. continue reading. Or did you have a thing? Did you want to add something? Joker? No, I'm good. No, go ahead. Okay. Green. Catherine is staying behind, as expected. My sons have returned with me, and they enjoy this age very much. They get along very well with the tree dwellers, and, and they're picking up their language surprisingly fast. I have no doubt that it will not be too long until they can speak with the tree dwellers much better than myself. Blue. Uh, hang on. Blue. I'm leaving tomorrow. Check on Osm Osmo Osmoian age? I thought it was Os like Osmosis. <laughs> Osmoian age. Sirius has suggested that I allow him and his brother to stay. Though the idea unsettles me, I know the boys are growing up rapidly. The hospitality of these creatures is such that I could think of no better place to leave them alone for a short while, so I will consent to their request. I warn the boys not to take advantage of the respect the tree dwellers have for their ideas. They seem to understand my warning, and I have faith they will follow it. Black. Much to my dismay. Upon arriving in Everdunes, I learned that Pran and her people are continuing to be menaced by the... Charctic? Coctic? Uh, it's pronounced Chowoka. Oh, okay. Menaced by the Chowoka. I fear for their survival and plan on returning to her shortly after checking on Sirius and Akinar here. In parentheses, see Everdunes Journal for more information. Parentheses. After watching Sirius and Akinar, I see they're handling things very well. I think I can put to rest any fears about leaving them in Channelwood again. And for a little longer time. Lighter blue. The tree dwellers seem slightly distressed that I am leaving, but are happy that Sirius and Akinar are staying behind again. Red. <laughs> I have been gone for over three days, and have been to many different places. I had to tell Sirius and Akinar about Pran's death today, and they were visibly shaken, although they only remember her from their childhood. Catherine has suggested that it would be wise for Sirius and Akinar to leave Channelwood for a while, and I have to agree. They will be returning with me when I leave again. Dark blue. I've told my sons that they will be returning with me in two days. They spent the entire night telling me of an adventure they experienced in my absence, and it was rather remarkable. Seems they constructed a boat with the creatures, and traveled some ways out into the surrounding waters. I enjoy hearing them talk excitedly of their adventures. And I'm reminded of my own adventures as a child. Hey, they're doing a colonialism, aren't they? Like in miniature? Building a little boat and going out into the water? Exploring? Kind of, yeah. I finally understand why the tree dwellers have been giving me their many inks and insisting I write with them. Looking through some of my past entries, I see now that the inks have changed from the black I thought they were to various different colors. I've shown some of the creatures my journal, and they laughed and howled. I did not know they had such a sense of humor. Even now, as I look through this very colorful journal, I cannot help but laugh myself. Green. It is colorful. Why is why it's, is there quotes? It's not. It's very. It's not even a particularly like funny joke. Yeah, it's not like a it's not like an own. You didn't get him. Like it's just a, now his journal looks nicer. What? I, I guess think it's, it's a funny own. Yeah, I guess it's like a a harmless prank, mm. right? Yeah. We will be returning tomorrow, so my sons are with the creatures for the last night here. Come on. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> They have told me they would like to come to Channelwood again, and also asked if they can visit some other ages alone. Though I'll have to think about over their request. I believe they have proven to me that they are trustworthy and responsible. Fresh mistake. Catherine will also have to help me. Decide whether they are ready for travel alone. For now, I must give my farewells to the creatures, for I do not know how long it will be until I visit this age again. Future bridge. Future bridge. Windmill. Hut. Hey, um, I recommend since, uh, Choco keeps making comments about how confusing this age is to move around and I've taken a uh, screenshot. You could take a screenshot.
I've taken okay. a screenshot and put in an overlay. Thank you. Thank you for being my scribe. Yeah, it's the least I can do with, with you stuck in reading duty. And thank you very much for it. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm Both glad you. I'm glad that you decided yeah. to come on stream anyway. Uh, that was the last page? That was the last page, yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there was another one. I must Back be thinking to of clicking one. every single fucking burnt book. So what do we think about that? Uh, uh, do, you, do you think we're going to find this age really nice and prosperous with... Uh, yeah, Cirrus and Akhenar are going to be people? there and they're going to be chilling, hanging out with their friends. The friends that they didn't definitely didn't mistreat ever, I imagine. Yeah. I see you skipped over a book. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's it's you starting Echo. I, 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 do we want to keep discussing that book? Do we have... I mean, the theme is basically just like, oh, these are all colonial. Like, this is extremely colonialist. I think that might be the most colonialist yeah. narrative. Just traditionally, like, there's there's primitive indigenous people, and you come in, and you just sort of, like, become their fucking god kings. Yeah. It's definitely uh, extremely loaded. And just the moment, just the moment where he's like told the story of what happened in the past, and then he's like, "I'm sure that part is just not true." Yeah. And it's like, it's like I'm sure the humans couldn't stop the island from sinking. It's like, it's fucking why not? Yeah, you travel through books that like you do fucking magical book transport with your teleport books that you just write it, your book fucking oozes out of a goddamn wooden table like it's terminator 2 like magic is real okay, dude who <laughs> like, wants that guy like who who was that guy like yeah there's no indication of like where this guy came from he knows like, how to why, speak the same wait, language as Atreus. Yeah, he presumably comes from the same place as Atreus, but what? He came here and then couldn't get out like Atreus can? I mean, Well, it's... he was from the people who lived there, so presumably a long time ago. Um, like... Multiple... Like a group of people lived there. It. Yeah. Maybe they... Maybe people went there so early that like some of them evolved to live into trees and some of them evolved into just like human evolution doesn't human happen closer, that fast unless there's some other like intermediating explanation for how they evolved into oh, tree climbing monkeys i don't mean evolution happens that fast i mean it was that long ago <laughs> well yeah but then he lived that long I don't think he lived that I, long. No, there were just people. There were like humans who lived there on the ground before the island sank. Okay, so it's so kind of like a Kurt Vonnegut Galapagos situation. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> uh, Kurt Vonnegut wrote a book called Galapagos, in which humans devolve into into furry seals. Okay, that's huh. not what I was imagining, but <laughs> definitely it sounds very what I was fun. Imagining. Sounds um, like a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't read it. I just know the premise. Um, the, but, so, I think no. I think this guy must have come in like, I don't know, in his in his thirties, let's say, and then he spent forty years there, and there were already, like, a society of what were they called? Chocolate. Or is no, like a... that was something that was terrorizing people in the desert. Rude. Look. Yeah. Okay. Desert world. Sorry. Uh, so there was already a society of, I guess we just have to call them monkey people. Yeah. Uh, there. <laughs> and so he sort of did the same thing that Atrus did, but he was stuck there. Well, and so we just decided, well, okay, so I, no, I'll just live. No, like see, a king. what I imagine it is is that 
he and like he and other humans moved went to that age lived there had a prosperous time then the island sank and a lot of humans died and he didn't and he stayed there presumably out of like respect for the tree dwellers that he had lived with for so long and like because that was just where he lived and like maybe he was too old to leave or something but like i think He's a and, remnant of the human settlers who lived there. And I, I also detect, like, a whiff of, like, patriarchal, I have to, t like, somebody yeah. who's a human has to be around to take care of these tree people who seem to be doing pretty okay for themselves. Yeah. Like, without without the humans. And then when Atris shows up, he's like, ah, my work here is done. Now I can finally kill myself? <laughs> <laughs> they don't need me anymore. They've got you. Uh, yeah. And that's the only reason why I'm staying alive is to take care of them. And that does no kind of seem like, like he's passing on the torch a little bit. Oh, yeah, um, that's definitely the intention. Like, oh, I have no other... I don't want to live, but I'm hanging on to life to take care of the tree dwellers. Uh, but now that I don't have to take care of the tree dwellers, sayonara. Yeah. A little bit what the fuck is up with this guy <laughs> i think he's fourth he's like a fourth colonizer he's, yeah he's white man's burden he's like white man's burden incarnate yeah a little bit okay i'm done talking before That's my voice okay. i appreciate your job i appreciate your commentary uh echo will you take will you um, take us on a journey into oh wait I'm just realizing listening to this conversation that the problem with books is that I can't read books and so I'm just listening to y'all talking like oh right he died didn't I I really can like read a book aloud and just not remember a single <laughs> fucking thing that happened like I, I'm just sitting here like okay the last thing I remember from that book is him telling the story of like how they all lived there and I'm like okay so it could have just been like walking to fucking Alaska right like, people just were there a million years ago. Some, like, pre-human. And then it just fucking... They li shit lived there. But apparently there's more shit that I missed because I can't pay attention to fucking books. Hey. Well, that's why we have a designated listener. Although, I did kind of drift off in the middle there because of the cold. So, yeah. hopefully between the three of us, we can get, like, a complete composite yeah. picture, listening when we're not talking, and things like that. And, uh, Echo, you could say you missed it. Yeah, I missed it a little bit. You could say I... you book missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could say that. I mean, you could. You could say anything you want, technically. That's, uh... Strictly speaking. Honestly, that's a real observation. That's a real observation. A real observation. That's a... Cereal? A breakfast food. It's a breakfast food. Oh it's a breakfast God. food. <laughs> Deep cut. Uh, fucking take that one to the bank, boys. Okay, Echo, <laughs> read me this fucking page. <clears throat> Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. You need to go faster than that. We have so many books to get there. He... Oh, not that many. He <laughs> named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of the large sea. This was I'm where Emmett that... lived. He enjoyed his life. Ooh. I'm surprised that Atris isn't putting the rocks in quotation marks given <laughs> his bright habits. <laughs> Mm -mm. This is where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks, as it was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. A Emmett and Branch quickly became friends. Swimming and hunting written fish like together a children's often. book. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon, Branch discovered a place where he lived, also on the same large rock. The sun always showed brightly in their world, and the water was already dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost the deep ocean floor surrounding them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the areas down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, 
he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. Why does Branch just get called fucking Branch? But Will gets a real ass name. <laughs> oh, he's like a branch floating in the ocean. Will okay, maybe Branch, part Branch is just group. maybe Branch is non-binary. You don't know that. Non-binary. <laughs> non-binary people don't have to be called just. Things. That's true. Maybe Branch wanted to be named Branch. I don't know. I'm called Echo because I'm cool, not because I'm non-binary. True. Um, Will was also, soon a part of the group. We know that they're Adult. all boys. That's true. Yeah. And all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. You can be a non-binary boy, though. That also... I think... I don't think this these... Is... I don't think this is what this book is saying. But... Yeah, I think th that... Clearly, there's a parallel between, like, two happy boys and Sirius Black and R, who are able to just kind of, like, exist and chill out in the environment. Yeah. Um, uh, although there's three of them, and that kind of messes up the direct one-to-one -one relationship, although there are three boys in... I guess I guess Emmett could be Atris, right? Emmett is like the first one there, and then one boy is born, and then the other boy is born, and they all lived happily, and peacefully, yeah. and yeah. unambitiously, and just kind of static. At least that is the story I was told when I arrived on today on the island. Emmett, Branch, and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day of uh, today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller... Rock Islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys that I would leave the following day. I told them that while I was gone... I would make a surprising change in their world. They didn't understand. Not that I expected them to. Oh, okay. So, this is yeah, like pre Atreus recognizes. Yeah, this is really. Atreus is going to have some fun playing God on these three poor boys. Yeah, we're really seeing uh, Atreus's father skills, I think, in this. Right? Yeah. Like, like, oh, they, they're they afraid of the rain, and I can't make them believe it's not harmful. Um, anyway, I'm going to abandon them for three days and then make some radical changes in their world. Uh, and when they're already, like, afraid of the rain. Yeah, really great. Great plan. Uh, glance back at the last page for a moment. Newly created age. Okay, now let's go forward one more page. This is back where we were. I just want to highlight that phrase. The mist yeah. fan. Yeah, newly created age. Yeah. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by father. I attempted to create a boat by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Though this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have... Answers to a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoy it anyway. And with that, I am pleased. They have played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. Pause. So, what have we learned about Atris's, Atris ear? Uh, he's shitty at being, at being really? like reassuring. He loves to change shit around and abandon people. Yeah. He loves. To, he's pretty shitty at creating things 
despite his ego like he fucks it up yeah he also has a direct father figure who taught him things um I think that's an interesting like part of the story to come into of like oh yes you know colonialism is generational probably right yeah i imagine he's probably inherited definitely some of this if not all of it uh but you know you learn you got like huge huge source of learning how to be a father is being a son first and so we can gather from that vaguely what happened submersible Mm. lamp the nights are absolutely beautiful here i have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me also during the night i catch glimmers of light from the horizon which i have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on far off islands or rocks i should very much like to discover which i rather suspect it is additional people which would explain the appearance of branch and will Dash dash. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. It clearly, recently like recently So obviously it doesn't like mechanically work like this, but it's pretty obvious that it's like symbolic for Atrus's arrival. And yeah. So he yeah. is the rain. He brings the rain. Mm-hmm. Uh, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I've also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light toward the horizon, it might prove my suspicions regarding additional in- inhabitants. They would be curious about the light, and travel to discover it. Of course, if they have the means. I returned with many tools that I will need for construction of the lighthouse. I've decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now. And are making great progress. The rocks that we are building on seems to not be as secure as I would like. The rock that we are building on. I have had to alter my plans slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I estimate construction will... ...be done within two days. The lighthouse is finished, and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from rock with their own hands. That evening, we powered up the generator, much to the boys' dread at first, and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours. Pause. I stayed the night. Pause. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from rock with their own hands. Uh, If this is like Atrus's coded fatherhood, and he is, uh, you know, he is thinks of himself as a creator as somebody who's making these ages uh uh you could feel a sort of a little bit of that that pride rubbing off on him like oh yeah yeah. like this is probably how he feels and what he tries to instill in Sirius and Akinar Mm. yeah I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse, and in the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. Also, hello, Maxwell Elvis. Uh, it's Mist Book Club. Mm. We're reading Mist Books. So that I understand what happens in the video game mist. Also, Chill mist. unofficial mist week has been. There's a mist week. Mist uh, week. 
I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art, that will have a more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. I think. I think. Oh, that's... Wait, no, that's not the end? Mm, yeah, okay. Stone ship age. Yeah. Of it. This age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and someday open in the future, only to discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Okay, buddy. That's really Besides, like I have... this is my age that I've made myself, and <laughs> I'm gonna give it to myself. Yeah. Besides, I have yet another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age, and so much planning is in order. Uh, it has been ten years since I left this age, which I have called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. They are all very content, and have been serving me with new foods, and showing me new materials they have discovered. It even seems they have found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been... Kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they have tried their very best to keep it so. Yet I have noted that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years. I... I'm glad that the introduction of a woman into the mix didn't seem to, like, derail everything. Yeah. That would have been a bit much. Um, I really like the, like... I showed up in this world as a colonizer, bought these boys some stuff, and then when I came back, they had, like, found some gold... Uh, the, which is famously, like, the you know, thing. never caused harm. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they don't say anything about, you know, it being the root of all evil. Yeah, it's where where'd they get the gold? I don't know. And, like, the lighthouse sinking a few centimeters is, like, yeah, I really cool them, symbolism to like, me. I brought them, like, modern, modern infrastructure and built them and taught them how to build it. Yeah, right, and so then it started to sink another... their home into the ocean. Yeah, and I crashed a fucking boat into the... Yeah, a boat and a lighthouse. I crashed it into their into their idyllic, stable yeah. life. And they seem to be yeah. doing okay for themselves, but, you know, seven it's years also... later. It's also, like, the gap of just, like... I don't remember the other books, but that is like that book reads as like earlier than Channel would. Definitely. Like he doesn't mention his sons or wife. Yeah. And there's he a doesn't mention his... gap. Yeah. So presumably that's like the chronologically the first he he doesn't seem very skilled at his craft. Yeah, he's and... still got like he's talking about his dad, he's like dabbling in the chilling experience it's very um uncool about the art in my opinion yeah he's atris is never cool yeah atris is not a super cool guy well uh, so yes yeah, and then you time skip life. forward 10 years and then You know, he's catching up with some old buds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so by by that time, he's probably like in his 30s. And we don't know. Yeah. We don't know when he meets Catherine, when he has children, in reference to that book. But presumably at the start, he has not yet. Yeah, it definitely seems like it. But well, we do know that now uh, there nobody lives there. There's nobody there. Yep. 
Sure, and we know that Sirius and Akinar put bedrooms there. Like, they really post it up. Yeah. Yeah. Sirius and Akinar love to put rooms in these islands, in these ages. They love to just have... Yeah, it's like there. they love to carve into rock and see what is wrought from their own creation or something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Is this the gear one? This is not the gear what? one. This is the... This one. Wait, second to last book. Uh, book of Mist. Second to last book. Sun. Blue. Dash dash. It has been a while since I have heard only silence, and I enjoy it greatly, I think. For some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below along... Pause. Uh, similar to how you're hi highlighting newly created age, age that I have linked to. Yes. <laughs> and also... Slippery terminology <laughs> here. Are you creating to them, or are you just merely linking to them? Yeah. It's... It's a... Yeah. Yeah, which one is it? Uh, with a few scattered forests, a rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing, yet the water's blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh, and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It's absolutely breathtaking, and yet, that strange feeling again. Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Harder than I would have imagined. It almost singes my skin, and I feel quite uncomfortable when it... Comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived, and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red long past the sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. Alas, Atreus is not a poet. <laughs> yeah. He is, uh... Not welcome, though, apparently. I wonder why. Um, I've had to return home. Due to an unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced, I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky, and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a list missed linking book with me when I return, in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. Man, I sure wish I could do that. Sure, I could bring a fucking Mist Linking book. Yeah, fucking grumble, grumble. You should play Uru Ages Beyond Mist. <laughs> Wait, fuck, I clicked off. Hey. I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remember, has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improve oh. improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I see one of the falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and a jutting rock that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like desert, although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. So this one, because there's no inhabitants, there's no characters in this one, yeah. this one doesn't have so much the colonialist overtones. This one is more like a geologic-tinged creation myth. Yeah. You know, like something that goes from Edenic to sort of Venus into Mars. Mm. So this world has little visual excitement to offer. It offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears, and I have found where a few of them originate. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
it seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing. Was I it was beautiful? sweating. <laughs> yeah. Going up to Atreus and just asking him, hey, hey, is it beautiful? Tell me what's beautiful about this. It was beautiful about Damn, you. Catherine. Damn, my wife is right. I am like the best dude ever. <laughs> um, well, I was it's sweating. It's important and he... to be grateful and thankful. And, and... Yeah, yeah, true. However, I was sweating. And that heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the air. Suddenly the ground began to crack and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Ooh, that's, that's, that's interesting. So, so far, like, this has been, like, the most alien and hostile and barren place that we've seen like yeah. it's totally unfamiliar everything is strange and uh tranquil and beautiful and when it finally like crests the wave it's it's throwing hot rocks at him but that's not even the peak no 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 when it crests the wave of being like absolutely fucking intolerable to live in that's when it's like his industrialist brain kicks in and yeah. he's like oh I can use this for geothermal energy <laughs> and I can make sound based puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> I can build a giant horrible roller coaster in these in the crust of this planet. Yeah. I can I can systematize I can catalog and systematize the beautiful strange sounds this place makes and then instrumentalize them towards puzzles. Yeah. Okay. Echo. And then After the roller coaster all... is like synthetic sounds that he has to make in the whole quarry. Even as the chasm, or chasm, depending on who you are, has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that has been created, and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. Perhaps a also colossal look... cave system. Oh, fuck. This grues. Oh, God. Uh, perhaps there's a story in this cave <laughs> to be told. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Sirius and Akana and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the... Underground. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools I know I would be needing. I knew I would be needing, even. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials. However, it seems as though I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I've also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set, and I look forward to tomorrow. My... Raw materials were all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions to this age completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. I... Well, and I have decided Three meters is not enough support for beams Amazingly strong To be one of my most prized inventions I am extreme It never have imagined it to come together I doubt. <laughs> Could possibly work with 14 instead of... <laughs> Completely fatigued. I am so happy to have... Row. 
I am leaving today in order to bring back Sirius and Akinar. I have left them alone. In Channelwood. I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have stabilized. I believe the meteor has set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust. But the tremors have become few. I have just noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age to which I hope to travel soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishments. What mysteries? I, okay. Well, I really like the the fade away ink, yeah. sort of giving us like, like that seems like a really clever conceit, uh, just sort of like, yada yada in the whole construction portion in like a montage, mm -hmm. right? Like, what's important is that he decides to construct something. And then, of course, he has to write a bunch of shit to actually construct all this bullshit. In Because this is one of the most heavily built-up ages, clearly. And it's mm -hmm. all done by Artris. Um, and so, so he goes there. And while he's doing this, he's left his children in Channelwood. Yeah. Lord knows what they're getting up to there. Yeah. And it's also the concept of, like, this is really strikingly the only age where the brothers have, like, no impact. You go there, their pages are just sitting on, like, a fucking counter. Yeah, they don't like, have there's no They don't have quarters. Because why the fuck would they go to this age? That like, what is, what is this? Hostile to human life it, it's it's and clearly it, like it it twigs something in atris's industrialist imagination like oh my god naturally obtain naturally occurring titanium right here where i can mine it out presumably he's going in there with like a fucking chisel and mining out <laughs> ore right like he's yeah. doing hard work like this is like this is like dad's car that he works on and he just tinkers with it yeah. So everything that exists in this age is just something Atris did to amuse himself. Nothing else. Yeah. It's like, it, it kind of, I think, speaks to the difference in personality where, like, Atris's sons are, like, way better at, like, picking up language than him, um, like, connecting with people. But Atris is, is so much more of, like, a creative mind. Yeah. And an engineer. Yeah. And like a yeah he has more of a practical engineering side and then it, it also sort of explains why mist is the way that it is like mist <laughs> island mist island and and uh uh fuck, the rocket ship the selenic age is what we call it right uh, that are, mist and the selenic age are like it, we see the bedrooms that Atris or that Akinar and Sirius make, and we see, oh well, that sort of represents Akinar's disposition and Sirius's destination. But then, uh, Mist Island and in the Selenic Age, those are just raw Atris. This is what Atris likes, and he does this because it amuses himself. Uh -huh. He practically can't fucking stop himself. Like he. You give him the right environment, and you just fucking let him go, and he will start building puzzles because he loves it. <laughs> he, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. He's like, I like, have to build escape rooms. I have to build puzzles. I need... He, I yeah, need like... But that that's his that's his idea of a good time is building puzzles and it makes so much fucking sense actually like it yeah. totally justifies this fucking game yeah it's also like the fact that a lot of these puzzles aren't even intended to be puzzles they're just like like Convoluted. everything you do in the gear age or in like this this age has like a combination lock for like the door but apart from that like most things are just this like you're figuring out how this machine works. Atrus knows how it works. He just pressed the button. Yeah, like, it's yeah. like it's not. It's like how the this 
the fucking roller coaster corresponds to the compass directions of the fortress gauge. Because the mechanical gauge. Because it's like, yeah. Uh, it's fucking. He's. It's just like how his. He just likes to make convoluted systems and door keys. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, like, why. If you're making a system for, like, you and maybe your family, like, why the fuck do you have to make something with a good user experience? <laughs> just make whatever is, like, convenient and easy. Also, I like how this is kind of like a, if you read this book before going to that age, you kind of get like a, like just a slight hint at what's happening. It's like there's a north here, yeah. there's, a, there's an inn, vaguely covered up. Because it's, that's the fucking compass directions. Yeah. Um, also, Maxwell Elvis says, I, I like new book for the Twitch chat. Thank you. I'm very happy with it. Echo helped me set it up and it looks very nice. Um, yeah, it is also just really appropriate. You're right, Maxwell, that, like, Adris is played by Rand Miller. Hang on, I can do this with him. Who is Rand Miller? <gasps> yeah, that makes sense. That's funny. Uh, okay, last book. Last missed book. Well, oh, right. hang on. The First, gauge. we have to read these. Okay, yeah. Five, six. Five. <laughs> oh, I have to alternate pages. One. Two. Three. Four. I can't do this. Fuck, I you can't, can't do it fast enough. This. I can't do this, Riley. I can't fucking bear it. <laughs> <laughs> Square it. Square, 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 blank space, blank space, blank space, <laughs> square, blank space, Dad. blank space. Hey, Riley. Riley, I hope you like Sokoban. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I forget what Sokoban is. It's the game where you have to push blocks around. Oh. <laughs> Block pushing puzzle, I see. Before arriving in this age, I was determined that it would be a journey to a world very different from my previous adventures. And it was. End of story. Bye. <laughs> the sky here is dark and gray and incessantly displays flashes of lightning in the distance. I met a very old man with a long beard and hair that hangs to his waist. He is very feeble and has trouble even moving. This man has obviously been through many things in this strange world, and I have learned many things from him. He has told me an interesting story of this world's history. This is like the... This is the second uh, old man with a long beard who's told him, like... A, uh, who's told him, like, the backstory of his world, and the third person overall to tell you, oh yeah, here's the backstory of the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, what's an old man with a hanging beard gonna do except tell you backstory? Your sword? Yeah, that's what old men are for in real life, too. Yeah. Like you, it's just, usually like beautiful women in a lake. And ask them they could about be a sword. Uh, ask them for either a sword or backstory, and they'll give you one of them. Yeah. Uh, did you finish her page? I wasn't listening. I did. Uh, I did finish. Years ago, he told me there was a beautiful city that rose out of the water. Do this in an old man voice, Riley. It housed many people inside its walls, and the people had everything they wished for. The city was surrounded by three high hills which rose higher than the city. On the east hill of the city rested a large lookout post. The people of the city had constructed the post, expecting visitors to arrive from the east. The people had no means of traveling on the water, which forced... Than to merely wait for friend or foe. As time passed, <laughs> friendly visitors brought rumors of an enemy that existed beyond the horizon. The people grew fearful, yet nothing happened. One day, the usually sunny sky became as dark as night, and black ships appeared on the horizon. The lookout posts' attempts at peace were turned away, and the sentries there were easily overwhelmed. The ships continued to wreak havoc on the city, Apparently destroying everyone and everything after the foundations of the city were destroyed. The city sunk deep into the ocean and only the lookout post remained. The black ships sailed away. The man continued to say that eight people had hidden and managed to survive through the attack. 
In the nine years since the attack, two of the survivors had died. He also said that it was rumored that ten years from the attack, the enemy would return to finish the destruction they... ...had started so long ago. I have decided, <laughs> since hearing the man's story, it would be admirable <laughs> to save this civilization and stop this enemy's plan of destruction. <laughs> I, am a, I have decided it would be admirable if I did this. I think it would be cool as hell if I if I saved these people. And he seems to be the last living member of this whole civilization. Like, yeah. Just saying, it seems to be like crazy easy in Mist to wipe out an entire society, like leaving no living remnants. It's like everywhere we go. Except for this one that was no that was not priorly inhabited. I mean, this is like this is like a, a big problem people have pointed out with like uh, uh, peacekeeping operations. Is that like this war that he's intervening in is almost over to the last man. Yeah. If he just didn't do anything, the war would be over, and yeah, one side would lose. But what he is proposing to do is to drag it out and make it bloodier. Yeah. Yeah. Aethys, anyway, on the other hand, is excited about this adventure that awaits me, and an idea has sparked in my mind to provide the needed defense for these people. Okay, so there are there are more survivors. Okay, so there, there are more. Okay. There are six. Okay. I left. Yeah. Yeah. I met the remaining survivors today, and I have begun work on a plan for protection. I, okay, that's so, it. So so he just loves war. He he's just like taking this on as like a fucking game for him, pretty yeah. much. It's a puzzle. Yeah. The whole whole world's a puzzle. After a short absence, something that could be engineered away. Yeah. After a short absence, I return to this age with my two sons. They have, as of yet, traveled rarely with me, and they are understandably excited to be here. They have grown oh, considerably boy. since ever dunes, and it is already obvious to me that they. Oh, will be of boy. great help this time instead of the nuisance they have been in the past. Oh my oh, god, oh, Atris. So Jesus Christ. So, so this is like Sirius and Akinar origins here of like how they got so brutal and rapacious is that the first time he took them out to like here's what you do in an age is like here's how to make war. <laughs> yeah. Holy All shit. All three of us, <laughs> along with four of the healthier survivors, began construction today. We are building upon the old city's ruins, which will provide a perfect foundation for our fortress. My sons have been spending much of their spare time on the South Island, where most of my materials are stored. I am very pleased with their intelligence and their creativity. It's refreshing to see, as they work on some small projects of their own. It has been over four months now, and construction is going well. My sons love the world, except for its grey sky. They detest the grey sky. We hate the- I hate this shitty sky. It's all full of dog shit clouds. Welcome Worst to Britain. sky. Welcome to fucking <laughs> Pittsburgh. <laughs> they detest the grey sky and tell me many times they wish the sky here were like the sky in fucking <laughs> years ago. Blue sky and mist. Okay, I did say welcome to Pittsburgh because I live here, but also, like, welcome to fucking Chicago. Am I right? Get yeah. a Chicago-style hot dog under the gray sky. Um, Hang on, I have to redeem a Chicago-style hot dog now. Yeah, I have to redeem another Chicago-style hot dog. Oh, I'm hungry. I gotta get more hot dogs. I really want hot dogs now. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. I gotta keep reading. Yeah, stop thinking about it. The old man I first talked to tells me that the enemy is due in four months. I feel we, we will be ready when the time comes. The man reminds me of Emmett in many ways, and I often wonder how Emmett and his people are doing. How? <laughs> how? In what way? Emmett was a boy, and this old man is so, so old. What are you talking you about? Not, expand on that point. He's not the. <laughs> you met another old man. Like we know that you went to Channelwood. I guess he hasn't been to Channelwood yet. Channelwood must be after this because this is like the first time. 
he went with Sirius and Akinar to a place, so Channelwood must be after this, so he can't remind the, the guy in Channelwood. But I guess they're sort of tying Emmett to the old men, which makes sense because they're both the storytellers, but Emmett didn't have this paranoid, wizened edge. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Emmett was a very genuine, simple folk. It has been six months of work, and we have finally finished the fortress. It rests between the three hills, which are now only islands, due to a rising water level that the people experience after the attack. Okay, so that's another reason, thing that would remind you of the Stone Ship Age, right? Like the construction project versus yeah. uh, rising water level or falling construction. That does kind of seem to be a running theme in a lot of these mist ages, is they are slowly sinking. Yeah, yeah, they're slowly sinking, or the water level is rising up. Same yeah. difference, right? Like, the, the water level really seems to be uh, a pretty major concern in every single mist age. Yeah. I have an onion about a bit of that, but I want to wait until the end of the books before I slam it down on the table real hard. Okay, and okay. And and the onion... I'll try to remember to remind you of it. And the onion explodes yeah. into horrible, horrible And the onion acids. is diced up. And put and, on a Chicago-style hot dog. True. Yeah. God, now I'm thinking about hot dogs again. Fuck. I'm I'm actually gonna go if if we can take a quick break. Can I go and like take a hot dog out of the freezer to unthaw so I can have it for dinner? Sure. Sure. If you can just be right back. Yeah, I, just, I can't. We'll, we'll take a take a break. I don't break. have a hot dog in. The, I don't have a hot dog in the freezer. I'm gonna do groceries soon because I don't have very much food at all. But I'm, you um, know I'm getting hot dogs. I can't. I don't even like hot dogs really, but I like like <laughs> chili dogs. You put enough. You put enough stuff on a hot dog, it's good. Oh, Echo! Surprise! Shock! Shock! Horror! Echo likes chili dog. Known Sonic fan. Yeah, I didn't even care about chili dogs, and then someone knew I liked Sonic, so made chili dog. I see that happening on stream. <laughs> I just I got it on my other screen. Do you just slide that in past me? Not say anything? I just you know. That'll that'll fucking expose whatever the delay is on my end. <laughs> Cause I only see it on the Twitch stream, but um Yeah, I don't know made some like homemade chili with someone and i was like damn this is really fucking good actually because yeah. i'm just tasting chili and not dog <laughs> but the dog is like a core part you know like it's a a base okay i'm back thank you for not advancing without me hey trophy yeah you, you well, might notice that the stream update overlay has been updated Huh. Inside, inside the fortress is dis designed a most intriguing device. It makes use of a technology called holography. I began ex experimenting with, with on my visits to Aspermere. It will be working in a couple of days after I compensate for some small miscalculations. This holographic device will enable the survivors to learn to use the fortress. The enemy is due to come soon. I trust that the fortress will provide... Yep, there it is. Sufficient protection for all of us. That's the sound that Google makes. Um, the black ships have come. Their attack was substantial. Their weapons have been stopped, and it appears they have turned away in defeat. I could not help but smile as I watched the boats leave. There's we no see... way that... There's no way this flag is meant to recall like the Islamic crescent, right? Like that it's can't almost, possibly be. I think this is thinking. just I it to me it reads just like this is a fantasy flag that someone made that happens to share similarity to the real flag because that's what flags are like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it is like moon moon and star. Yeah. Moon and star on the black flag because pirates black is evil i guess uh it, like pirate stuff yeah it's it's pirate stuff it's also kind of i, I don't 
I don't know, the geopolitics here, I can't map them cleanly onto like, oh, this is Napoleonic or whatever. Yeah, I don't know if there yeah. is a clear uh, correspondent, so to speak. Um, Just someone could find it, probably. Last night. I guess this is actually like, like I would presume that the black, black flag and force is uh, more substantial, more developed, probably has a larger land mass, and that what we're dealing with is like an island defense situation. So sort of like a Caribbean versus colonizers, weirdly enough. Maybe, but that's a stretch. Mm -hmm. Really is how some of the pirate... Some of piracy works. <laughs> I'm being honest. Yeah, privateers. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I was yawning. Last night we had a small celebration, and the old survivors danced with their dances, their dance, their dances of old. My sons did not understand why the sky had not turned back to its original blue. The old man told them that the storms would never end until the enemy was destroyed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I assured my sons that his blue sky was not worth the risk of death, and they seemed to hear me. I've had a healthy adventure and have begun work on a new book. Once. Again, I must leave a familiar age in search of a new universe I have begun. Oh no. Well, first I will have an extended time with Catherine, who I miss very much. I must also return to the people of the Tide. I believe in my travels I have found a substance that will ease the pain of their bone ailments that they have long endured. I, love I hope that to note where I, I love when they refer to ages that have been burned. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it just sort of sketches out like this is one of many adventures that we cannot possibly know here. Yeah. That's a that's just good fantasy writing right there. <laughs> yeah. I hope to return to mechanical age one day to find and find the population growing and my fortress still strong. So the sky may always be black. I am confident the people here feel heavier. Darkness has been lifted from their shoulders. Hey, was the sky gray when we went there? I don't remember. I don't think yeah. it was. I don't I think, think it, it was. was blue. I think it was blue. Hmm. 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 So, here's my onion. Um, Slam that onion. Oh, the water levels. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of related to water levels, but we also had, like, meteor strikes that occurred. We had a lot of raining that they weren't familiar with in Stone Ship. Um, this age, the, like, sky seemed to be in a bad situation. Um, my thought, my interpretation, and I don't know if this is ever confirmed directly by anything, is that there is a level of calamity that comes when somebody links to a written age. That's seems... like Atris Plausible. bringing the rain, and then when he leaves for 10 years, after the three rain. years of him being gone, the rain stops. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's yeah, like... That that does seem to be like if not an explicit logical mechanism uh it does seem to be a thematic resonance that like yeah you go that wherever you go there you are and you ruin everything just by being there mm -hmm. like the you're age, sort of callous the age where nobody lives atris goes there feels this force or this feeling that it, he is not welcome and, and then, then the age throwing, fucking explodes it starts throwing rocks at him trying to kill him becomes like an it's extremely hostile place yeah and then he comes back once it's resettled and then like after a single day it immediately starts trying to fucking kill him again yeah, yeah. And it was like a gorgeous, fertile place before that. It's not like it was constantly dropping rocks. He doesn't say that the the like original lake is like circular shaped. He only yeah. says the new one afterwards. 
there's also a lot i think there's a lot of water symbolism just mm -hmm. in general this is a very wet uh, game true i guess you could say sort of there's a few forms that water can take um First, when it's I... in its solid state we call it ice liquid state we call it water which there is much of in this game because every gaseous on state yeah well when it's in its gaseous state when it's uh we call it water vapor water? i can't i fucking believe this right now. i can't believe you would do this to me which one of these haven't i done yet this one right that one yeah yeah that one that's the tree. Is that the last age? Yep. Yep. Nice. We just got to do channel wood. We have a map already. Uh, let uh, me move your hand slowly all the way to the end, all the way to the door. Ah. I keep just swinging my head. I keep yeah. swinging my head around, and I'm like, no, I can't see the door. No, I can't see yeah. it. Wait. I don't know why they built that room like that, because you could just turn around in the room. There's like, like birds. There's yeah. like birds on the ground. <laughs> Did you go look at the puzzle thing in the I lighthouse? Didn't. I didn't actually do the thing that I needed to do. Well, I feel like I understand Mist a lot more now. And like it, all of the puzzles now will become extremely easily. Yeah, I mean, basically the only puzzle in general but is how to get to the place you need to be. There's like a bit of switches and stuff, uh, but I don't remember the logic of that being that hard. No, mm, it's yeah, the uh, it's it really is just like navigation. That is the difficult part of, of Channel Wood. 724. Alright. You wrote that down in your handy dandy notebook? I wrote that down gonna... in my mind. Okay, what was, what was yeah. it? 724. How are you remembering that? By thinking about it? Yeah. 734. Got seven, it. 724. Right, because 2 times 4 is 7. Yeah. Well, minus yeah. 1. Well, that's three times four because it's seven three four. Because three times four oh, is right, right. three well, plus okay, four yeah. is seven. Well, no, three minus one times four is seven. <laughs> um, yeah, but if we take eight divided by two is four plus three no, it'd is be seven. seven divided by two, which would be three and a half, which times four is. Uh. Yeah. Well, 28? thanks for helping me remember that. <laughs> oh, I can hold a different item! Yes! Hey. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you just it's an adventure match. game. You figured out the match by by just like being so excited to hold something that wasn't a page. <laughs> now quick, go into the library and start burning some more books. Oh, wait, them, hang on, wait, I need to see, I need to see, fuck. Well, let me do this. Oh, it blew out. The match blew Fuck! out. Fuck! I wanted to kill a you I ran, wanted to kill you ran too fast. It was too <laughs> This isn't it's not Mitch 4 Revelation, I promise. You can't run too fast. You ran too fast. It, the wind outside, it blew out your match. Fuck my match! I'm so sad. You leave? I'm so sad I can't get a funny secret ending by burning fucking Hackner's book. Serious and Hackner's book. Fuck yeah. I. No spoilers, Echo. I know you're fucking burning to spoil I'm... something about burning books, but don't. Pick up the matchbook with I your was... human hands? Uh, that's ridiculous. I was burning at the beginning of this stream for another thing I wasn't allowed to talk about, so. <laughs> Yeah, you're just gonna have to suffer. Like, we're taking Mist as its own text. We're not even entirely 100% sure we're not Catherine in this game. Oh, it's not even Mist related. It's red now. 
Oh. Fire. What does that do, though? Um, click it a lot? I don't know. I don't remember. It's kind of rhythmic, though. I'm pretty sure you can spam click it. I'm pretty sure she's doing that. Alright, you can just hold you can I just thought... click it once. You can just hold click it. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure you can just, like, click, 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 moving. You did it. This seems like it's too high. Yeah, it might be. Oh, well. But how are you gonna know what's too high if you don't know what the hell it's doing? Oh. Get in. Quick, climb Oh, now it's already at. Oh, fuck. Goodbye. No! Wait, no! Wait, no! <laughs> Guess what, Riley? This is the beginning of this long tradition of... Why is there like a time to puzzle in this? Because they are doing everything they can do within the screenshot game format. They're trying so and hard to make thing... you believe that it's not a, not a slideshow. So how do I, what do I do? So that doorway can be accessible, right? Yeah, but how do I make it go back down? Um, I think you were doing well, the right sort of thing. You turned the pressure up, right? Yeah, so I guess turn the pressure down. Yeah, you turned it way the fuck up, too. <laughs> I swear I remember being able to just, like, beat the shit out of this thing, but maybe it was, like, old version? Oh. Oh, fuck. God damn it. No, better. Quick, 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 get, better get run. the fuck out there! Get the fuck out there! Go, fuck. go, go! Yeah, this is, this is a pretty easy puzzle. I always liked this puzzle. <laughs> Especially because if you let it go all the way down and then go back up in it, you can see every you can see everything and then you just get trapped up there. <laughs> That I love this sudden music. Is, that button is actually just to release you if you go all the way to the top. That's fine. All right, time to edge a tree. Tree realm. Tree zone. Oh. So let's meet let's meet these fantastic uh, uh, creatures and see how human they really are. Yeah. Right? I'm so excited to finally meet people in mist and not just birds. I've missed it so and much. FMVs. I want to see some FMV monkeys. Well, they seem frogs. Oh, uh, oh, I'm having a deadly premonition. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, right now, it's not like you can make the correct choice. I think you could, if you remember that water runs downhill and then look at where it's p piping towards. You gotta look around first, you know? Ooh, yeah. How do you feel about this? I'm about it. Very moist. Like I said, mist is a very wet game. Lots of water symbolism. In this one, water is power. Hang on. Someone redeem water? Someone redeem the water? Kill two points for reward? Yeah, I'll do it. This is water. Oh, I hate these. This Even in water. real life, I can never tell like when it's open and when it's closed. 
Water. This is water. Lefty, loosey, righty, tiny, so that something. would be open. That's how I remember how to open everything. Yeah, same, honestly. Although, righty, tiny, lefty, loosey is kind of a foolish way to do it, and that's why we have words like clockwise and counterclockwise. No. That's ridiculous. Uh, huh. Well, like something's. This should be pushing the water, or is the which way does which yeah. way is which? This way. What's the other one? Oh, wait, uh, you kind of skipped over a junction there. No, I was just looking at this junction so far, because this is like, yeah. there's only one junction between this and this elevator. Yeah, but you can't seem to do anything with that well, elevator. Well, that looks more like a staircase, a doorway to a staircase. Right. I sure hope I know how these things work. You, I think you have the idea. Yeah, it's, it's like... Not a it, it's not obscured, it's a mechanism. That's an elevator. Mmm, I love the Shrek elevator. Somebody once told me the world is gone. Okay, elevator. I hate the this show to... I love the elevator. That music plays in every word this elevator. <laughs> <laughs> like, what I'm direction not. are you pointing anymore? I have no <laughs> fucking clue. Do, 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 do. I have a perfect understanding of what's going on. Oh, some tables. Ta Pick a table. Get... Is overturned. That's probably good. Yeah. This looks a little messy, but. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Monkeys, hello, people. Hello. They must have all, all left for a different age. They must have all gone on vacation right as I got here. How inconvenient. Yeah. This is just one full well, I'm, I'm glad they're doing well enough for a vacation. They have a really sophisticated society, actually, for being characterized as so primitive. Yeah. They have fucking pottery they, shit. They have pottery, they have a whole lumber industry, clearly weaving, plenty of time for that. Hey, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Well, you did turn around at one point. It's here. super fucking easy to get lost in this age. No. I told no. you that navigating this age was the challenge. And I just have a strong internal compass. Ahead. I just don't know what, like, I've seen these buildings and I cannot see anything inside of them that is a puzzle. So, this is the area that is mapped. Yeah. So you can discover through like this this one. You can look at that configuration and be like, okay, what on the map looks like that? Yeah. Uh this is one with there's only two with three branches. This is one of them. And it's two square and one. I think these are just old. Yeah, so this one is the centermost circle, center left. So. This would go. Okay, I have an idea of where I am now. Ray. Right. Fox. 
pots. Yeah, this looks like it was some kind of kitchen. Yeah. Almost seems like it's not designed as a maze, it's just kind of a place people live. Yeah. Yeah. And if you were here, not in a point and click game, what would be? Aha! Uh -huh. Extremely. A lever. Oh. Now we just have to get over to whatever that did. I've been playing a lot of Tenderfoot Tactics lately. Uh which is a lot of just reading maps and then mapping yourself onto landmarks. So I'm like in cartography mode right now. So this is like extremely gelling with my brain. Good. Oh yeah. Now you're ready for originals work. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, that's not FMV. It might earn a spot on FMV bonus show uh, info column. Yeah, I mean, we just did a whole look we did a mapping segment and we did a whole book reading segment that is proof of concept that we can do a zork stream True. where we just fucking read and map exciting stuff whoa what happened to... oh no we did the thing again oh this is just what the age is like it just gets half as <laughs> that means you solved a puzzle because when the game becomes smaller Every time missed, but every time you solve a puzzle, the <laughs> the game the, the game becomes smaller. God, <laughs> every age the screen gets smaller. <coughs> Sorry, that's all right. I'm so it's glad that they let you pick up another item that's not a um. Page. Page. I'm so glad. And it's the opposite of a page, really. <laughs> it's kind of symbolic. I hate that when you load a game, you have to go back to where you were in the fucking page. So, if you ever get lost, you know, it'll be fine. Well, it looks like all your, uh, all your power went out, too. Hey, are there some? Are there any other useful places down here for water to go, like at all? I literally don't remember if there is. There are. I don't know if they're useful right now. But it might be useful to just poke around and see. Is this okay? One? So it looks like that hmm. does something. That's and that nothing. just dumps out into the water. So, there's something else useful. We might want to check that out before we take the elevator this time. Like the one other useful thing that uh, water, that hydraulic yeah, and this pipe here. is broken. Okay. Uh, right backwards. That's just a two way pipe. A two-way pipe? You know what I mean. It goes both ways. Holy shit. <laughs> Check it out. I can turn it around. It doesn't matter which direction this <laughs> pipe is <sighs> Okay, so if I turn this to that way. See, this is like one of the most, oh, this isn't like, this isn't a puzzle. This is just how these people, this is just how you live. This is just I love when you mechanics. click fast and miss and then like shit happens. Yeah. I, I don't have any idea what that looks like. Uh, you did just turn it and then turn it back. Yeah, no, but it they, should the be lever doesn't left. stay. Yeah, it should be turned left. Yeah, that was my. Yep. Oh, oh 
Metroidvania oh. level. No. What? This is just no. like a Metroidvania. You know when you open a shortcut from the other way? You know? It's like that. That's no, that's what? It's the other that's... way around, Riley. It's the other way around. I'm going to introduce a phrase to y'all, but I want y'all not to use it to annoy me because I'm going to tell you something that annoys me. Okay. That's I promise. extremely, oh. extremely tough ask for this. the other two co-hosts, but we'll I, try. I promise, okay. I promise I will not use the term after you tell me uh, I'm annoyed. Metroidvania yeah. is a term that I've seen levied around for games like Myst and The Witness. What? I will oh. never fucking use this term except to make fun of people who invented it. Uh, if you, yeah. in, it, so if, if you use the term, there's nothing wrong with you. There's no moral failing with you as a person. You can do what you want. But it Harvard. sounds like intelligent dance music to me. <laughs> um, so, it sounds like brain dance, right? It sounds like fucking high IQ. It's... You need a high IQ to understand the mist. Yeah, it's it's. Riley, close the door. You gotta close the door. Whoops. It's it's so fucking stupid because it's like three layers deep in a portmanteau. And it, all it fucking is, is it's reinventing the idea of the adventure game. Yeah. Thanks for going like, back down, Riley. Can we go back up again for a second? And the glitters is gone. Oh, the shooting stars break the... Thanks. Thanks for the combination. Wait! I already found it! We found the book. That was easy. Yeah. Well, I have pages to get. This this age is very much the like getting to the pages is the harder part. Yeah, it's yeah. the opposite of in many ways it is the opposite of uh the Selenic Age, right? Yeah. It's yeah. All, like you have the two visuals. the two stony uh the two stony tutorial ages, I guess I would call them. Uh uh, seems sort of tied together, and then the Selenic Age and this one are a little bit more difficult. And the Selenic Age is like that's all Atrus. That's Atrus's baby, and everything in there is a confusing puzzle because that's how Atrus likes it. Uh, where also it is uninhabited, and this one is like very inhabited. And all of this development, none of it is really Atrus. <laughs> Yeah. So there's sort of two sides of the coin here. But what if oh, it is like... I'm like <laughs> the song had already looped around, I guess. Uh it's well it's a different elevator, they're off sync. I see. I need to open my map again. Uh Wow, I could still hear that elevator. It's like pretty loud. <laughs> <laughs> what I if you what, what if you got into an elevator? It had the calming piano music, but it was just like so fucking loud and like squared peaking <laughs> that you could hear it from like across the building. You can like hear it coming up the elevator shaft towards you as you're waiting for the elevator. <laughs> You can hear it pass you by as it doesn't stop at your floor. Okay, so the door stayed open. Good to know. Hard now to we just tell. have to find out how to get there. I'm reading a map. Ooh. 
Okay. Maybe, hopefully, easy for you. Oh, that's cool. Like these, like these stairs. Yeah. Ah. You don't have any water. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. a champion without water. Oh, right. I see what I have to do. <laughs> I see what I have to do. Slams the door in my own face. <laughs> You figured this out pretty quickly. Thanks. Yeah. I'm pretty good at this. See, I figured out the principle very quickly, but it took me hours to do this because I kept getting turned around and lost, even with the map. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. was very yeah. difficult for me. Meanwhile, the hardest thing for me in this game by far every time is the fucking clock on Mist Island where you have to hold <laughs> the lever down. Uh, well, I wouldn't have gotten through that if you hadn't told me. I would have just sat there just constantly testing. Yeah, there was a point I remember doing it and I was just like, I think it was the last time I played this game. Where I like sat down and I was like, okay, how do I do this? And I like mapped out the motions to get in the correct position, just looked at it, stared at it, and went, this is literally impossible. I okay. am missing something because it is impossible to do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually, I, I really like that in a puzzle is when it gives you a mechanism and a constraint and it's up to you to work out that the puzzle as presented is literally impossible. Yeah, it's lying. Like you have to yeah. conclusively prove that it is literally impossible and that there's a trick. Yeah. That's actually the good shit. The eye on it's just as the puzzle that allows you to access possibly the easiest age and a great choice as your first age maybe put that type of shit a little later in the game <laughs> that's what I think okay I can so from teeth? this from this sink I can tell that this is a bachelor Ak it's Akinar is the nasty one right or is it yes Sam? Akinar's stinky boy. Well, neither of them are associated with green. Maybe this is the old man. No, Maybe. look at this cheese. Only well, Akinar would eat such old, nasty cheese. Like the old man. <laughs> yeah, like the old man. Chairs Maybe are broken. Some like chairs around. Hmm. Hmm. Well. If we know anything about the color knife, I put a knife. I can't take it. Yeah, oh, oh, we got it. Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay, now you. It's it's Riley, right? Yeah, it's the or right it half. Of... Riley has to read this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Volt axis, end of mist, aided in very plain view on. Mist, and access can be easily if si if the simple followed. First, locate switches on the island. These switches to the end go to the dock and earn the marker switch. He off position. Now we have to s now we someone has to clip that on Twitch, and then we spl then Echo can splice them together. To figure out the solution, gotta find the fucking splice. Yeah, from you gotta, you gotta the find the last bond. Go <laughs> no, I we, I can send you the clip because it's in the clips. Oh, someone clipped it. It was clipped. And meanwhile, I'm gonna stitch together the images. <laughs> but if we're serious <laughs> about stitching together the audio, I believe in Echo's ability to do it. Echo's already done one Photoshop for us. It's 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 done me you, so much already. If you are confident in your audio editing capabilities, I would love to let you do this. 
<laughs> oh, I said I, I said I was gonna splice the images together. Oh, okay. I'll splice the audio. Uh, also, there's a scary knife, which I can't take, which is sad because I can't use it to attack Agnar or Cirrus. But that would make you just as bad as them, right? No? No, I wouldn't. Oh! Surprise extra FMP! Scared? Whoa! I have been so excited for Riley to get to the surprise uh. FMP at this stage, at this age. <laughs> Ah. That was spooky. Okay, no, this is definitely Akinar's room. Look at that bed. Only that nasty boy could sleep on a bed with no mattress. May Every Akinar room is like r slash male living spaces. <laughs> Every single one. I don't deserve a mattress. These these clips are some of the fucking jankiest things in the remakes. Yeah. Oh, like, are they? Reliably. Yeah, like reliably because they aged so much that they could no longer convincingly play Akinar. So they couldn't like refilm them, so they had to use the old 32, like 180p video God. files. And unlike with the books, you couldn't like convincingly scale them. So either you're left with like casting new Sirius at Mackinac. Sorry, did he actually say something in English that no. time? No. No. Sorry, continue. Uh, so either you're you have to like recast somebody or you have to make like a crappy 3d model also now that you can walk around mist it's like oh cool now it's just a 2d image that i can walk around it's not like a 3d head hologram yeah and it just it like in no other game does this part look even passable due to technical factors. Okay. So what's our what's our game plan? Can I go and return the one page of each and then like save load? Is that a good plan or you can um I mean I would save but I'm pretty sure there's one last page on Mist Island for everybody. Right, okay. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. I disagree. Oh, okay. Well, they haven't told... The, the brothers haven't told you about the, 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 yeah, the I think, final choice. And they tell I you that, that before you, you get ripped out. get a bad end to hear about that. I don't think so, because they warn you. They're like, don't do this. Don't fucking do this. Like, I would definitely save to be safe, but I'm pretty yeah. sure there's, like, one last page for each of them. I'm going to save in Akinar's room so I can return it next time. Good this is so idea. I don't have to go back into the tree elevator to, te to go test it. Yeah, you're, you're very smart and big-brained, Riley. Thanks. <laughs> I always know just what to say. Do I? <laughs> when it's praising me, yes. Oh. I hope I push the right button, my dear. What a very interesting device you have here. 
I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> Remember, he is preparing. Take only one page, my dear brother. Uh, oh. Huh. Oh. I wonder what that's all about. Can't imagine. Can't imagine. I wonder who's both here. Hey, can we get the elevator Two music here? Oh yeah, sure. I can't fucking um, whistle, so that was my solution. I appreciate it. I also can't whistle. I can like make whistle the noise of a whistle, but I can't like do a tune with it. I have to do this thing again, the mechanic of this page. Wait, I just need to change this one. There's like no greater joy in Mist than just clicking rapidly to get through like an area. Ah! For some reason, specifically while playing Mist, I get those. I get the window, a device is connected message, like not message but noise, and I have no idea why. Wait. Hmm. And I have to look at these images. I didn't read the fucking title of the page! Oh no. Well, we can just do the audio after that bit. Yeah, I started with the vault is located. Oh, okay. I love the, comp the just like the bird noises over the mist flying. Bird. Okay, do we want to see a bad end? Maybe. Maybe there's another page. Hello. I know I can, uh... <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, buddy. Like you said that. Return to help me escape from my wrongful imprisonment. <laughs> he was serious. He did this to me. Serious. My wicked brother. Do not listen to him. I warn you. I warn you. He's a liar. <laughs> Be persuaded by his evil lies. I believe him. He killed my father. He will kill you. <laughs> he began when my brother Sears began to lust for riches. He stole from the ages of mist. He only riches for himself. Our father. My father slipped away his watchfulness. <laughs> my sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. <laughs> king of the ages of mist, he said. He began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother! Whoa! He did him! <laughs> he got fucking stained glass Sir, window. He destroy the ages of mist. He burned their forest. <laughs> he pulled down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants. He, he destroyed all but four of the ages. Of course, I had a woman father. When I finally found him, there was Cyrus also talking cleverly. 
the lying tongue of a sad man. He's convinced, Father, that it was I who destroyed the ages. He convinced, Father, that it was I who was greedy for wealth and plunder. And he seriously dealt the final blow. He tricked the Father into believing that I was the murderer. But Sirius did not feel as fast a blow as he planned. And his father died a slow death. He at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so in dying, father imprisoned us both. I'm sure from which of us the blow had come. <laughs> he literally just said that his brother imprisoned him and then changed the story. Release me. He must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar. He deserves punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father. He's murdered. Believe me. Recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It's the easiest to find. Yeah, there's one last page. Okay. Go to the bookshelf. It's in this library. On the far right side of the middle shelf, there's a burned book, which is different from the other burned books. It's oh, thanks. Filled with patterns. Fine pattern 158. Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you the last blue page. Remember. Only the blue page return quickly to me. And do not touch the green book. It's a clever trap to imprison those who have not been warned. The green book? Do not be tempted when you will rot and die. Imprisoned as I am. I tell you, if you follow my instructions, it will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. That was some good FMV. I love when his face gets all squished. I love it so yeah. much. Also, there is a last page, so let's go back to Tree Zone. I do have a curiosity, and I'm not asking you to really satisfy it, but like... Hey, this time right all the way up. Okay. I am asking you to satisfy that curiosity. Yeah, I just wonder, like, if you get the other color page from where the last page is can you just like skip like could you skip going back to channel it entirely <laughs> right yeah by just getting like the wrong page yeah the wrong fourth page yes i, I think absolutely you could sweep its break you could add an additional page oh this is beautiful this is so scenic right yeah yeah can i walk out of this elevator and die no. Uh, sadly, you can't make like that old guy in Channelwood because you have nobody to pass your responsibilities to. True. That's why we have to figure out who we can trust here. I'm so sad that I can't, like, go up faster, because I want to just keep going up and down. Yeah. Maybe if you reduced the pressure, you could go down faster than you go up? Maybe. how completely convoluted this is when a ladder would have sufficed. Yeah. Literally could have just been a ladder. Really? Atreus got really bored. Go now, Foster. Yep, yep, windmill, cool windmill. Trees, beautiful, love them. Okay, let's speed run it. Yep, speed run time. Speed run stress. What's the missed speed run world record? Can you some of them look that up? 15 seconds. 
Yeah. What? Um. Well, I guess if you know the solution to the final puzzle. Yeah. The final puzzle is on mist. Yeah. Uh, there's also like really cool speedruns for real mist because there's like a clip that completely skips the uh, maze on the Celenda gauge. Oh, nice. A you, clip? Like... Wait, what? Yeah, you walk into a place and you clip through the floor. Is this in this is in real mist? Yeah. That's good. I don't know about the new mist. I don't know. It's probably better made, unfortunately. Apparently new mist is also like there's a golf. They've they've given they've given the 3D models over to a mini golf developer also. So you oh. play mini golf in the ages. That's very fun. The ages should honestly just like be in VR chat, right? Like let all of the Uru fans get what they always wanted, which is a real actual social online game. <laughs> in mist ages yeah let me Honestly, be like, uh, like public domain the 3d models for the mist ages the original Could... ones i think well i don't know if those are like maybe like one that's like a little bit out of date but it doesn't matter anyway because then people can like repurpose them into like a quake map or whatever yeah god finally we can have what the we can have- we can finally sequester the- Finally we can reach a compromise that the- the violent quake heads will like, and also the non-violent mist heads will also enjoy- appreciate. A mist quake map? <laughs> well, can... well, see, what you do is you take like... the- the, like, mechanical age, and then you port it to Left 4 Dead 2. So that you can play out the attack of the black ships, <laughs> where they're full of zombies. I I think that this map would make a pretty good like, make a pretty good quake deathmatch map. You got like yeah. water you could fall into. You got three tiers of elevation. It's... Only problem is that all the platforms are really narrow. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it would be fucking terrifying. <laughs> I love this, like, evil chest that's, like... Nah. Like, what is it's this protecting? Funny to me it's extra funny to me that, like, this happens in the place where Akinar's head shows up. Yeah. Knife. Knife to see you. Knife to see you, too. So now to now to make your actual now to get one for your actual uh, uh, husband. Yeah. I said that weird. <laughs> husband. Husband. Like, husband. You you like serious. You I I relatively speaking, and strictly from a, a perspective of utility and marriage. Listen, I'm not afraid to be a gold digger. I'll do it. I'll fucking singe his hair. I'll kill him it's, to death with really all these matches. I can only hold really matches and pages with my, my feeble wom womanly arms. So I it really have to... is a shame that Atris is both dead and married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not great, but at least he's nice. Like, he... He has some ethical problems, but... He has some blind spots, but who doesn't? Yeah. Now, Catherine, though. Catherine's a widow. Yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll walk right in. Catherine is a widow who clearly doesn't care about Atris or Sirius or Akinar. Yeah, so... Easy. Done. Solved it. Now let's get to hear from... Let's hear Cirrus's plea. Unfortunately, you're playing as Catherine, so... <laughs> 37 seconds, or 1040 for all pages. That's pretty good for all pages. Finally, 
returned. I owe you a debt of gratitude, for you have nearly released me. My name is Sirius. I trust that Whoa. from your exploration you become convinced that my wicked brother Akhenov is guilty, and I am innocent. It is I who am wrongly imprisoned here. Imprisoned by my father. I don't know who you are or how you came to this island, but I assume you must at least know something of the books. It was father who was a master of the books. He wrote hundreds of them, all describing and linking to the fantastic places and ages which he had discovered. The room in which you now stand was our father's library. It was here in this room on this island named Mist that Thanks. held most of these books. But such a waste. Oh, he flew off the screen. Our father was always watchful of our we grew up under his strict supervision. But when we came of age, he gave us unbridled access to the mystic books. He began to leave our adventures more and more unchecked. Unsupervised as we were, my brother began to become disturbed. He began to take more from the mist ages than he had given. Soon he gained a twisted pleasure. Oh. Conquest and destruction. My nose stretches out. Pleasure. It was horrific. His thirst for destruction. But alas, even I discovered his insanity too late. He had completely destroyed all of the Mist Ages but four. I wasted no time. In warning my father, I thought he would recognize Akhenon's guilt. But in a fit of rage, he imprisoned both my brother and myself within the pages of these books, designed to hold us until he could judge which of us was guilty. To discover the truth, my father embarked on one final chapter. However, he has never returned. I can only assume that he perished along the way. Interesting. Leaving me fucking smirk. Interesting so, that Cyrus claims that he was not murdered at all. Yeah. You must find but he would claim that if he's the murderer. Yeah. Free. There is a book on the shelves. This library, which is mostly burned, but has a few pages still intact. It has 300 pages still intact, on the in fact. Shelf. Find this book is filled with a variety of patterns. Find pattern 158 and recreate it on the door of the fireplace. This will bring you to the last red page. Bring that page to me, and I will finally be released and able to reward you, of course. Whoa! Ignore the blue page. That page finishes my brother's book. Chills me to even think what would happen if you were to release him. There is another one. Where the red and blue pages reside, also resides a green book. If you touch the green book, you also will be imprisoned forever. Our father gave us this same morning long ago. I suggest you follow his advice. Go now. Soon we will be face to face. That answers the question of if we are Catherine. Um that uh because he said he didn't know us and he could see us presumably so presumably uh so he you presumably recognize his own mother yeah yeah we're getting a pretty clear hint that the green book is important yeah i think well, i want to touch that green really, book we really do, i think we don't want to touch that green book right like i think you should definitely... green book ahoy let's go to green book the secret no, good no, ending Riley. of the game yeah. yeah let's, no, Riley, let's we have to book. choose the correct brother. That's no, how... no, 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 no. We want to see the bad end first. 
That is how you. That is how you do it. And where is the door to the fireplace? You can choose the incorrect brother. We know which brother. Go in the fireplace. Left. Oh. I just saw that as you said left. Oh. Welcome to fireplace. Man, Sorry, this is bad it. audio. This I just so got. This choice. is just really cool. This would be so choice on the Nintendo DS. <laughs> You're exactly right. It needs to be a missed DS game. I think there is. God. I hope so. I think they did port Mist to the Nintendo DS. I'm not sure. I need oh, to there is, and it sucks. How does it suck? It's so naturally suited. What the fuck? what the number was, Riley? Was 158. It, it was not 69, sadly. Uh, the... Were you lying about Sokoban? Was that just a trick to make me think something yes. else? Yes. Okay. Man, I was excited for a Sokoban puzzle. Uh, so, what's interesting is that I think they both said that it was... It was, uh, they both agreed who burnt the bookshelves, and that it was Akinar? No, Akinar said that Cyrus burnt the books. Akinar said that Cyrus burnt the books and murdered his father. And then Cyrus said that Akinar burnt the books, imprisoned both of them, and then Atreus... Akinar burnt the books, Atreus imprisoned Atre both of them, and then went out on an adventure and died. Or, presumably. So, what I don't get in... What makes me inclined to believe Sirius over Akinar, as per usual, uh, is is that Akinar, how did you get imprisoned if Dad was murdered? Did Catherine do it? Yeah. Well, no, he's it's like in his dying breath, what? he died a slow death and imprisoned us when he was like on his when he was like dying of bleeding out. He imprisoned yeah, us. Actually, it would be like, there would be like a skeleton in the middle of Miss Library. <laughs> And there then he went around and there, hid all the pages while still dying. There is an explanation here um, in what Cirrus said. Cirrus tells you not to touch the green book because it will imprison you like them. And then he says, my father gave me this, like, warned me and Akinar of this, this, like, gave us the same warning. I suggest you follow it. Yeah. The implication being that touching the red and blue books imprisoned them in it. So it wasn't a thing right. that had to yeah. be done to them. It was a, thing a consequence. They did on accident? Yeah. It's like these books are traps. Um, right. Like when they were going through the library, they touched the trap book. Yeah. Kind of, um, well... But then who would be left to scatter the pages if Atris is dead? Well, the pages could have been scattered to begin with. That's true. Or maybe they scatter themselves because they're magic. That's true, too. They could be like the Chaos Emeralds of the Dragon Balls. Yeah. This is just like Dragon Ball. Okay, so... Yeah, I definitely so... save. Green book, baby. Let's. That's saved correctly. Yep. Zoom. It's going to take me back to the middle of the room anyway, so. Oh! Oh! Who the devil are you? <laughs> Don't come here to Dunny. Not yet. Um, oh, I have many questions for you, my friend. As you no doubt have for me. Um, where should I begin? Oh, perhaps my story is in order. Um, my name is Atris. Uh, I fear you've met my son, Cirrus and Akinar, <laughs> in the red and blue books on Mist Island, in my library. My library. Oh, it contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books, many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. Mm, I wrote those books, too. 
Ah, in trap, over greedy explorers that might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. I see. Ah, my sons. Cirrus and Agonar, we had many journeys together. Ah, I gave them free reign. see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and the blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Uh, of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Ah. Uh, extent their greed had, had progressed. Their own mother. They used their own mother. Oh, my dear Catherine. Uh, to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I, I could return to Mist, except that they removed a single page from my Mist linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story above the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. I think you should go right now without the page. Without either yeah. page? I think just just green. Yeah, just go just go for green right now. Okay. No, that's that... not you do it. Wait, what? You have to Oh wait! Like you can link to he told you not to link to the book, right? I have to enter the whole thing again. Well... Yeah, like, you have your save file. What are you doing, really? The save file will just boot me back to the fucking middle of the mist room. Oh, you're right. By the way, I have put an audio file into Overlay. Uh, yeah. Let's let, let, let's let's not let's not listen to that yet. Yeah. Let's listen to yeah, it well, after we get. Yeah, I just want this. you to be aware. Yeah. I need to get through my three bands. Yeah! We're going to mist! Not mist. We're hey. going to unmist. It's Dunny. Hmm. Cave. Congratulations. You've just won. <laughs> Look at that. Look the at the, the fucking, like, little... Little pixels around him. Oh, it's so beautiful. He just yeah. has like his own field of effect. Yeah, this is how the whole also, game works. Please, if you, like look. Every video in the game is technically like that. Please look at the face on the fucking floor. Holy shit, that's good. That's good shit. It's his yeah. Atreus rug. Oh my god. <laughs> He has his own face on the fucking floor! Oh, I love it! I love it so much. How there's like three different angles it comes from as well. There's like different... Oh my god. Beautiful. Ah, uh, my friend. <laughs> uh, you return. We meet face to face. And the page. Did you bring the page? No. What? What page? You didn't bring the page. You didn't bring the page. <laughs> Who are you? Oh. Did you not take my warning seriously? I just... I just wanted to say hi. My finger <laughs> slipped. Welcome to Dunny. <laughs> you and I. 
Nice. It's got your face on the floor. Can we put my face on the floor? Can we... Do you want to get married? I thought that was kind of the end of this game. Can we... Yeah, it's a dating sim. Congratulations, yeah. you've just married Atris. So this is obviously a bad end. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't even end the game. You're just stuck here. Yeah. That's great. I love that. This is what it's like to be married to Atris. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Catherine you, really had a rough... Uh... You're just really getting the marriage experience with Atris here. Just walking around his house that has a bunch of doors that no go nowhere. Furniture. His... No doors. <laughs> a rug of his face. Him writing the same book over and over again. Oh, uh, he's writing a lot, presumably. He just loves to fucking write fucking... and engineer shit. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's like... dipping. He's dipping his quill. I wish he would dip his quill in me so <laughs> for a change. Uh, okay. <laughs> well... No, so I just was I have to make a save that's <laughs> marriage. Hey. Atreus does not have an eye in it. I keep thinking oh. that he's Atreus, but anyway, I just wrote a different thing. Yeah, like an atrium. So Atreus's grandfather is A I T R U S. I know that bit of info from the books. So, now, now, so clearly picking Atreus isn't the right choice. You yeah. have to pick, you have to guess... pick between Zerus and Akinar. Well, I'll see how Zerus yeah. goes, and if that doesn't work out, I guess Akinar. I, I agree, I think we should save the best for the last. I think we should save the worst, clearly save the Akinar. worst for last. Right, like we we can tell Look, that guy's story just does not add up, and his well, that's the thing is it's... so brutal. Look, Akinar's story doesn't add up, but that's why we can trust him. Like, if someone's bad at lying, you can trust him to tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, like he told the truth about Atris being murdered. Sorry about that cough. Yeah, um, this is know. kind of like murder. So Sirius is the uh, red book. Pick your pick your husband. Me red at the blue. voting booth. <laughs> so we're doing Akinar? Is this saying that Joe Biden is Akinar? Is that what, is that what yeah. you're saying? You think what? Akinar is Joe Biden? Akinar is the Joe Biden of well, this. No, no, no. This was this was the '90s, so it's Clinton versus H. W. Bush. Oh God. You know what? That actually kind of. Well, I'm, I'm going with about best it. for lost <laughs> this time. <laughs> I decided. Whoa! 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 Why is it so tiny? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I feel alive. <laughs> and how do you feel, my friend? <laughs> oh, 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 but have we here? Perhaps the pages you work so hard for. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so of course. Oh, man. You yes. trade places in the oh. prison books and then Akinar. Perhaps immediately betrays you just from cruelty's sake. Point of view. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you're his friend. Even though I'm his best friend. His only friend. You know this guy doesn't have that other friend. Well, you know he has... He must have trust issues after so long, right? It's sympathetic. Maybe His brother has betrayed himself. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess the pen. 
very... That's directly from the developers to you. You lose. Very, very Jack London. <laughs> yeah, uh, Poe Park, we're being trapped in the book forever. All of us. Uh, this is the end of the game, and we're not going to play anymore. That's just how this game ends. I think when it fades to black, it should just show like a Baro doing a really exaggerated shrug. Oh, going what? like a Baro? Just going like, fucking whoops, buddy. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. And then it just like leaves. Every FMV stream from now on will just be three to four hours of TV static. Yeah, welcome to my life. It'll be three to four hours of TV static, like interspersed with like us peeking through very sporadically. And then seeing getting it like our faces room. twisted. And we're <laughs> asking you to help us by playing FMV game streams. And that's God. the new con That's the new con is that we have been trapped. We have been trapped in a mist book, and to get out, we have to play every FMV game ever produced. I wonder how they did this puzzle because they said they put in the opportunity to like randomize certain puzzles. I wonder if they just randomized like the pages for this. Because I think what they should have done is just recorded a bunch of brand new audio to dub over <laughs> for what page you should go to. Yeah. Make Mist, like, way a slightly bigger file. I was going to say way bigger, it's... but it's fucking not going to be that big. It's a Because you should still have to listen to the brothers to, like, get, get the answer. So now that we've taken care of all the obviously stupid options, yes, you're right. You're right, Spexel Elvis. Now we can go to the real ending of the game. What? You don't need to do this. You don't need you to don't, turn around. You don't do this. Oh, whoops. I forgot. <laughs> you get so fucked up by the fireplace. Now the obviously correct answer. Yeah, like, yeah. you gotta go to Sirius. Sirius would never do that to me. Ah oh, man, what the fuck? Who could have uh, seen this coming? Well, wait, wait, wait. Sirius is no. gonna help you out. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. Sirius, hey, my boy, Sirius. Yes. Oh. Yes. I'm free. Oh. Thank you, my friend. My dear friend. Yeah. You've done the right thing. Thank you. You stupid fool. What? <laughs> It looks like perhaps you're in the book now. That's not even a joke! That's not even a good joke! And what have we here? A page. You could have said, like, mate, you missed something important. Come on, there's so many missed jokes you could make, and you didn't even try. I hope you enjoy your new home as much as I enjoy it. I can't see you. You're getting less clear. I, you I like that you're good. actually having a conversation with this. <laughs> Fuck you, Cyrus. The library looks much the same as I left. Oh, I can all. <laughs> Gay little laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't miss you. See? Look, it's not hard. Yeah. You come into the mystery room and I'm in the red book and it's like, I just like, missed connections. Missed opportunities. Mm. Just constantly saying missed puns with no clues on how to solve the puzzles. I'm just listing off every possible pun. I'm misting off every possible pun that you can make with mist. But, <laughs> Damn, Sirius, you really laugh till you're red in the face. So, the, so mist is one of those interesting games where there is no good ending. <laughs> it's just, yeah, like it's, it's just three, three bad endings. It's three bad endings where you end up, like, locked in a room with three different bad dudes. Yeah, one of them is... Yeah. It's definitely, a, like, a relatively good ending. Also, someone said, I hate this lovely man's too terrible son. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, it looks like Echo has finally finished its audio file, and uh, oh, looks like I finished uh, uh, an image. I'm oh. sure this. Let's uh, let's find out what this image yeah. is all about. Yeah, I mean we have some time to kill at the end of the stream, so yes. why don't you play this audio live on stream? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm really excited to play this audio live on stream. I can actually just play it because it's my. Di I have a Discord audio, but yeah. The vault is located in very plain view on the island of mist, and access can be achieved very easily if the simple instructions are followed. First, locate each of the marker switches on the island. Turn every one of these switches to the on position, and go to the dock. And as a final step, turn the marker switch there to the key off position. Thank you for that. That was beautiful. I I need to. I want to play through it again with the image on stream, but let's let's listen to that one more time. The you vault is located in very plain view on noise. the island of mist, would do that. and access can be <laughs> achieved very easily if the simple instructions are followed. First, locate each of the marker switches on the island. Turn every one of these switches to the on <laughs> position. <laughs> and go to the dock. And as a final step. Turn the marker switch. There to key off position. Ah, uh, beautiful. I love. Thank you, Echo, so much for this. Thank you. Yeah, that was that was tremendous. Uh, God, I. Yeah, it's it's important to note that Atrus didn't trap them in the books. They trapped themselves. Yeah, they're in just the books. they're just like Eight. fools. They're just, they're just more. They're just but, that fucking greedy that they're like, oh, he put these two books on pedestals and won't allow his little boys to touch them. <laughs> that I do want to say, I do want to draw the analog. Atrus is a shitty colonizer who thinks he is creating entire worlds, at least for part of his life, he believes that, if not his whole life. <laughs> and then he has some children, a pair of sons, but some children. And then he goes, you can do whatever you fucking want in this world I have created. However, Except. if you touch the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, I mean these <laughs> two books, <laughs> you you will surely die. <laughs> oh, God. And oh, then, yeah. <laughs> he's it, it's, literally playing God it's, with his kids. It's He's uh, it's not playing the Abrahamic God. It's not Adam and Eve. It's Achenar and Cirrus. <laughs> Serious. Yeah, A it and literally S. is Adam and Steve. <laughs> uh, God. I call the chip dip suits. I call the chip dip twins because one of them is spicy and the other one is cool ranch. <laughs> which one is the off? Which one is the off position? I don't remember. <laughs> I think down is on, right? Well, no. I mean, it would. here's what you do. You start a new game and see which position they are on in default and assume that's off. I I think up is off. Well, I think you can, up is on because that makes them it. show up when they're when that's up. Yeah. Oh. Well, then, if that's how it works on the map, then you're right. Yep. I just don't. Have I done every marker switch? I think I have. Uh, yep. I mean, it's like a bi it's a pretty binary puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there's eight ones and zeros. Oh, that one? Oh. That was it. Oh. <laughs> So uh, these these fucking dumbass like they they were smart enough to tr to take a page from their father's linking book and hide it and then get lure him into Dunny with apparently something to do with Catherine uh, yeah into a place where he couldn't get out and then you know they started burning books and then they went for the special books and got themselves trapped but before that Ater scattered red and blue pages throughout the ages and in their rooms corresponding to the books that they are in. 
Yeah, yeah. it's and they needed to find a place to hide Atrus's page. So what they did is they constructed hands down the shittiest puzzle. <laughs> like you could accidentally solve this puzzle and it's supposed to be a puzzle. Yeah. You could fucking like fall into this thing and probably knock knock the door open that doesn't yeah. sound like a heavily locked door it's harder to get like into the fucking mechanical age yeah like you have learned nothing yeah like i'm not saying it's yeah <laughs> look moral of the story is atris Atris kind of bears a lot of responsibility here. Yeah. And I'm glad that, like, yeah. we're, we're letting him free so that he can go safely free his sons, at least. Yeah. yeah. They don't deserve to be prisoned for life. They, they've they done their time. Well, yeah. hang on. I mean, what do you think should be done with the boys? Uh, throw them in a big pit. I mean, that's throw them in a, with throw, Perhaps throw them in a great fissure or something. Oh, I see. And a big starry, starry fissure. For the record, telling a child not to touch a book is basically the same as putting cheese on a mouse trap. Very true. Yeah, really, it's kind it's of like putting. They had like so much restraint, and they didn't like. They didn't wait. like just merely like wait until he was gone for three days like he always fucking is and be like awesome sick time to check out those fucking forbidden books oh no we're trapped who could have like it's impressive they didn't do this as children yeah yeah hey hey ah, hey hey hey, hey. 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 the page did you bring the page yep it's right here ah give it to me here you go. Wait, wait, what happens if you just didn't give it to him? <laughs> I think you have to. I think it just does it automatically. I think he just repeats the page. Give me the page. The page. Yeah. Whoa. That's so cool. Fancy. Wait, can I come? Wait, can I come with you? Can I come? You just left me here? Let me come with you! I... Congratulations, you've been dis divorced. No! I'm so sad. What the fuck? Awful. No? Nothing? Uh, oh, 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 never mind. Uh, I have many questions for you, my friend. But uh, my writing cannot wait. I fear that my long delay may have already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife, Catherine, is now being held hostage. Oh, what? free to explore at your leisure. I hope you find your explorations satisfying. I already read all the books and did all the puzzles. You will no longer have my sons to deal with. So... The problem that he ran into last time was he gave his sons free reign. Now he's given you free reign. Some random person he's never met. I did save his life, kind of. But he just went back to doing this. So, what even was the fucking point? 
Well, we might as well look around the library. Yeah. May as well. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. He, he just killed his sons. He just killed his sons. Congratulations. This is also a bad end. Hmm. And I will say, um, in conjunction with seeing this bad end, Horatch, with no spoilers, please no spoilers, to, to protect Riley from other things. Um, they're not fucking canon. Three, three can be canon. Three can be canon. It could be. Uh, but not fucking Miss Four. Fuck Miss Four. Okay. Wait. Yes, Sirius and Hakanar are fucking dead. Like, he just, he was like, okay, I know my sons have betrayed me. I blasted so them I'm into going... fucking super hell by burning their prison books. Yeah, I can't only imagine that he's casting a magic missile to create burn <laughs> patterns like that, like just out of his hands. Yeah, he's just fucking blasting them. Uh, so, so everybody in this family is a book burner. And he does it, like, sadistically to trap his children in a fucking hellish static scape forever, irrecoverably. What is the last... What What could possibly be the last ending? I don't understand. Well, clearly, no, you need was... to give, clearly, you need to go back and give Sirius... You need to negotiate with Sirius, right? <laughs> Otherwise, he's gonna fuck you over. But Sirius is greedy, so you can figure out a way to use his greed against him then you can negotiate a way where you take him out of the prison book and then he takes you out of the prison book. But won't he just get is... put back in the prison book? Uh, well, he he knows how to write. He knows how to write art, so probably he could... He could... <laughs> I'm, like, out. reading in the chat, Troka has not played Mist 3 and 4, but you're, you are describing Mist 3. You are, like, <laughs> explicitly describing a puzzle in Mist 3. God. Um well, I mean I did I beat the game. You did. Yeah. And now your reward is you get to wander around to the ages of mist freely. These Which fucking you already the... fucking could. I think it's funny yeah. that like the 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 best ending here is you get to wander around the mist island freely and all of the ages connected to it that have not been burned. Holding the fucking page that would set ages free. Yeah, this is this is my real ending. The indecisive ending. Where I'm like, do I really want to do it though? Mm. No, it is decisive. You just have the page on you now. I we say fuck boys. No boys. No boys allowed. See, see, Maxwell Elvis, my problem with this moral accounting is that Atris is largely responsible for the way that series and H Akadar came out. Yeah, he is like, the dad. Yeah. He is their dad. He is their creator. He did raise them. And the and... way that they are bad are a reflection of the things that are latently bad about him. Right? They are yeah. like the the fucking you scrape a genteel colonialist and out comes these babbling, brutal and greedy fucking maniacs. Which is a, a little bit what? You can hold two items uh... at a time. You can hold a page and a match at the same time. But I can't burn the page. You have two hands. Of course no, you have one hand, clearly. You, you have one hand. No, you put that hand away and you take out your other right hand. <laughs> when you're the match. Two right hands. Well, I... <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I did... I beat Miss. A little, a little deflating. But, I mean, it... Makes sense because yeah. this game is not a game of spectacle. Uh, yeah, it kind of does set up that cliffhanger too, where he talks about his like his him getting rid of Catherine. Yeah, Catherine well, I assume I I would assume that that's another trick that the the kids played on him, right? Like they imperiled Catherine. Yeah. To lure him into Dunny, into Dunny, to lure him into Dunny, and yeah. so they they. And so, like, he's still laboring under the idea that Catherine was imperiled by the sons, but that could just as easily be a lie. Right? And like, oh, I have to go, I have to go over here into Duddy to rescue the killer. Well, that was clearly a trap. 
but it's like it's completely un unanswered and unapproached where Catherine is where Catherine is what sort of peril they theoretically put her in um and or theoretically claimed to put her in yeah and whether you'll ever be able to leave the this awful man's house yeah what, his private island well he's he's working on something so yeah. presumably when he's done working on that he'll loop you in uh but yeah. it's it's just a weirdly diffuse kind of ending that raises more questions than it answers yeah yeah thank god we got a sequel yeah thank god we got a riven the sequel to mist should i uh, uh... Which uh, which message? which dimensional image do we want to see? Marker the switch. water turbulent pool. Okay, we'll just go through all of them. Look at how fucked up. Yeah, it is. yeah, this is good. Ooh. 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 Well, yeah. thank that's you. That's like the thing. Oh, oh. No, Nico, you go. I was just gonna say that's the thing that Mystery gets right. Is it Atris? Is this kind of fucked up? Yeah, Atris is. Atris is not good. Uh, he's better than Sirius and Akinar, relatively. It's incredible uh, that they made Mist and then they made Riven. Uh, yeah, especially this time in the nineties. Yeah. They're... Yeah. Um hey, do we have time left in the stream or is this about good time Well, to go? we we have like our uh, 20 or so more minutes before I'd like to finish. Uh cool. but I'm want to watch a long play of Pissed. What? No. No. Okay. I don't want to watch a long play. I want to make Riley play it. Well, uh... there's not much to play. <laughs> Well, we can play Pissed before I play, like, the seventh guest or whatever the fuck I play next stream. Uh, do we want to... That's a good thing to talk about while we're here. I'm not sure... Do we want to... I do want to get to Riven at some point. Definitely want to play Riven. Might not play Mist 3 or 4, but we'll definitely play Riven, because or else Echo will kill me. Um, but I'm not sure what I want to go next... For... Uh, for uh, Forbidden Mystery Ball. Seventh Guest, I feel like, is a good next... A good intermission between Mist and Riven. Yeah. I, I yeah. think doing an intermission is a good idea, because Mist, Mist games are definitely not, like, heavy on the funny FMV. Yeah. Seventh yeah, Guest has a lot of funny They're actually FMV. good, and serious, and you have themes, and literary <laughs> qualities. And... Yeah. Which is... Although, I do... I do think, like, the the fmv where you get put in the serious book is like that's pretty top great notch. the way that man is like Feeling yeah. Ah, ah, ah. you pit ah, 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 ah. yeah you stupid fool i really like uh how this is the first episode the first series in the new rebranded fm wednesday forbidden mystery vault uh and it is, in fact, an extremely atypical series in the in the series so far because it is entirely it is like largely not like a bad game. <laughs> it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game at all. Uh, I would say so Mirage is also a good game in a very game. different way, and also <laughs> like the three games before that were Return to Zork, Zork. Grand Inquisitor and Zork Nemesis. Uh, I might re- I will probably return to Return to Zork for like a celebratory stream in a while, but not for not for some time. Um, return maybe after return I play Zork. Maybe I uh, after yeah. I play original Zork. Um, Gotta go for that speedrun world record on Return to Zork. Uh, there, no there's doubt. a lot of FMV games. I I feel like I have you know, a seventh big list. Might be, might be if you. You know, just go with your gut on that one. I think. Yeah, I've if been wanting to play Seventh Guest. For... Yeah, I've been playing, uh, wanting to play uh, Seventh Guest for ages. Um, but I have a bunch of fucking other games. I really want to play the Tex Murphy series. Uh, and 
there's the Planet Zeltoid games, um, which I think are edutainment games, which will be great. Maybe I can get a guest star from the... I think there's an edutainment show on Cable 2 that's happened, like, twice. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe next time. I, I really like, by the way, that these streams have had persistently uh, us two serious and Akinars, I'm not going to say who's who, <laughs> uh, uh, on your shoulder the whole time and nobody but. But we could we could get some other people in here to mix things up that's definitely fun. yeah no 100 percent. uh but yes thank you all for joining for mist uh this is maybe the start of mist week probably not but mist week coming to a cable two near you in an indeterminate amount of time what uh, what's mist week riley Tell well clearly you more. missed the conversation about it in cable two chat i did tell the viewers at home <laughs> it's I don't know if there's anything concrete yet. It's just, I think, a week of mist themed content. March Mistness. Mm. March Mistness. Beautiful. Miss Miss and Miss 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 in July. Miss Miss and Mr. Ch. <laughs> oh, fuck. I need to put Miss Miss in July there. Okay. Thank you all for uh, <coughs> joining us. And I hope you enjoy Water Turbulent Pool because that is in the canon ending is that I'm just going to have to sit here because Atreus didn't put no damn games on his computer. He just has a Water Turbulent Pool. And You dunk his fucking Miss Linking Book page in the Water Turbulent Pool. But it's not even a real water. It's a fucking hologram. So it just falls yeah, right through. Like, this is like a cauldron and you're like a cyber witch. <laughs> yeah. Well, like a cyber witch uses a holographic card. <laughs> A hollow, a hol, hollow, hollow. No, that's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I should do a raid. I should raid someone. I think uh, HC Justin uh, Let's is still... raid. Who? Who's the person who raided us? Let's raid them right back. I'm sure uh, they're. Like, that means that they ended their stream. BP isn't alive anymore. I'd love to raid BP, but technically, you can raid somebody and continue streaming. Um, I don't know what you would achieve by doing that, but it is Spelling possible. all your viewers. Sending my like viewers good. sending my viewers to a different stream so they can stop watching me. So I can stream in fucking peace. Anyway, I'm gonna go to HC Justin, who's apparently been streaming for like a lot of days straight. Like a very, Ooh, very straight. long amount of days. Uh like last time I heard it was like sixteen. I don't think, like, uninterrupted, but a lot of streaming. Uh, so we're going to raid HC Justin. And uh, if you have... Uh, fuck. What's the message? Uh, it has to be some kind of missed pun, right? It has to be a missed pun. Um, you're so good at these. What 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 do you wish you could have said to Sirius? <laughs> to a bit of missed pun? Um... No, like said back to Sirius. Like if you could talk to him, because I could tell you really wanted to have a conversation. <laughs> I feel like if you could talk through the screen, you could hash things out. Yeah. But I feel like that's not a good topic for a raid message. Well, no, no, no. Just a single, just a single missed pun that you would have liked to say to Sirius if you could talk through the screen. Because with a Twitch streamer, you can talk through the screen. True. You can talk back. So you're going to take out your frustrations on not being able to talk to Sirius on this streamer. The, the raid gonna message is going to be surely you can come up with a good missed pun. It's going to be did, I just yes, ask, ask, yes. let's let's yeah. prompt them into sure. coming up with a missed pun. Give me give me your best missed pun. That's the raid yeah, message. Yeah. All of our give me your best some variation on that. We're just going to go yeah. in there and like and ask for demand missed a missed pun. Yeah. In some phrasing. It doesn't matter the exact phrasing. We're just going to demand a missed pun until he gives us it. Yeah. Uh, and also, I think there's going to... They might be Fantasy Flight later today. I don't. I haven't checked the updated calendar. But if there is, come back here for that. You'll see it. You follow the channel, obviously. I assume you do. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. Only on Always On, Cable 2. Peace.